get a G2's ability to a, a, ca a coffee and then we're gonna do LCS. Switch on is nuts. The, the thing I respect about he just say is nuts. That like uh, we've all cast many games. Uh, I mean, I know for a fact, is Derek, you've cast many LPL teams. I'm saving my power said, spike for when LCS starts. Play that champion in game one. I don't think you should play it again. And then they just bring it out again. Yeah. And they just completely change Man. perspective because then in the second game they said you could just see the second, the, yes, like that, halfway that, through that, game that three, you could game feel it. One, it was. But that's all that was. It's yeah. just and over the series. Mickey, it did just that, right? just it showed the confidence why they had value on the Nautilus early rotation. Why that game one was just a blip. And uh, the impact Arrow? that he can Show it to me, Hans. This is probably his best Nautilus game of the series so Arrow. far. Arrow, <laughs> sidestep. But still, there's damage to be done. Caps gets the slow with Blade of the Wrong King. They're both trying to backstep the Cassio. Well. Marco ult blocked. Cassio ult's not bad. With good damage, but maybe they should no just take this fight here, BDS, with LeBron flank. Look, Brent, baby. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh. Heard one as flashes out of the way. Line there as well. Damage oh, my God. Please get a kill, guys. Come on. Separates the feathers of BDS. That inner turret left standing, though, after everyone's bot. BDS are throwing everything that they have at G2, but the vision is there. Despite and Sam is shaking his head. You're happy with those arrows. To push BDS back. And now it's once more Han Sama pushing in mid and wave oh, as they just look for the easy reset. Notice how. So, if G2 win, Mad and Fnatic are locked at the World Championship this year. Now the goal gap is six locked, locked, locked. Teams. Dragon is up in a minute and a half. G2 have laid all the groundwork ready for that next objective. And sure, there is that late game scaling opportunity that BDS have. They've showcased how many great team fights. They were at a deficit in their first game against SK, and it was this type of competition that they used to pull themselves back into the game and win a team fight. The question is, can they find that avenue again against a team like G2? When does World start? It is so BDS. World starts on the so 25th BDS. of September. You know, oh, in just I, about I a month. The surprise this year has been some of the greatest when they've just pulled out one team fight win and ended up winning the game. We've asked ourselves so many times, how do they keep it? Doing starts it starts two weeks it's earlier than last year, I think, G2 because of uh, Asia Games isn't on, right? Is how do they keep doing it? These are the teams that we ask, how do they keep doing it? And in game number five right now, G2, as Vetti has already alluded to, they're still doing it's an EU, yeah. Gold lead. It's, huge. it's in Berlin Dragons for Swiss stage. Quarters and semis still. are in Paris, the finals are in London. London, bruv. Up tier two. Man, I just want... I, like BDS is going to lose. Uh, we all know this, but I just want BDS to get a kill. Just don't get blasted this hard in a game five, please. Uh, mid laners that we have Great. in the LEC this split as well. And if you can find one big Cassio Opio, one moment in a fight. Yeah, we're going to be tracking the pros when everyone comes to Europe, find their accounts, the classic. It's going to be fun. It's so difficult to get into these It's going to be fun. Dragon has All right, Chemtech Soul, BDS, if you're going to fight, you may as well just fucking fight now. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Two ults down, not bad actually. Good start for BDS. Good start. Ain't so bad as Broken Blade has now Ow. teleported in or rather run in with his ghost. He's going to try and stop uh, a bit scared of this Brendled. He's in a bit of danger too. BDS trying to use that health bar advantage. They got to get this. Starts. The poke from Ice continues to be ruthless. Nuke has flash up in Q like, what, Q, 10 seconds? Is that? Through and G2, gonna have G2 to are going to give it. They it's smart by G2. What's the point in trying to take a fight here? Let's say you lose it, you go in, four of you die, and, if, and you die, they get Nash and they can stall the game. Just give them the Drake, it's five minutes extra. Chasing here is a bit risky for G2, maybe. Oh, he got him. BDS flew it in. It's a nature scrap from Shea, but in the back line, they've already lost eyes. With Caps gonna die to the poison, he's not right. Okay, it's over. BDS, they're fading, they're falling, the reverse. Oh my god, they're not even gonna get a kill. And I really do think oh my BDS god, they're so danger. tilted. Ah, uh, it's horror. BDS fans are bawling as they look at their screens and ace for G2. Oh my god, it's so depressing. Oh my god, they were this close to Worlds. You had to win one game and you were at Worlds. It's so sad! In spring split, BDS was 2-0 up against Fnatic for MSI spot. They lost 3-2. They were one game from MSI. They're 2-0 up against G2. They need one more game to play against Fnatic or Mad for a world spot. Oh my god, they're always so close. G2, They're always so close, so close, man. It's always one game. But it felt like that was their miracle. They forced G2 back, and then Adam 
trying to get up towards that top side to find that wave, gets caught. Ice tries to help. Caps immediately jumps on him. And there's nothing they could do. Even here, Nuke tries to go forward to get the Miasma to kill Caps, but ends up getting knocked back by Broken Blade. Dies with no ultimate to use. He dies actually mid ult animation. And it's just G2 chasing down the BDS. Nah, I don't think BDS Members will kill, keep the same roster next year. I feel like keeping this roster is a Inevitable mental balls. breaker. Oh, man. And you can see the reality setting in. BDS know the situation that they Nukes, find themselves yeah. in. You know when you smile and in those situations, you're like... Miracle after miracle to turn this game around. It would you're like, wow, maybe I am just cursed, it. you know? But G2, I don't think it's gonna give you're like, holy chance. shit, it's maybe it's just for BDS, never gonna happen. The improvement has been there. The story I feel like when you're like sad, you're way, sad. But, but when you smile, you're so sad G2 that you can't help but smile. You're like, the, uh, the road to Munich, you've seen it too many times, you know? Overcome what has always been that team that has always got the better of them. And holy fucker. Mad lines must be grinning from ear to ear. You know, they're looking at a world That's spot sad, man. I feel again. bad for Nuke. I feel like Nuke's been playing pretty well this year. On the edge here. We're only gonna find out now. Go on, Shio, show it to me. Flash over and steal it. Flash over and steal it. They're flipping it. Oh, you can't get over it. Oh my god, I thought Ezreal stole it there. Jesus. I thought Ezreal stole it. Uh, my heart skipped the beat. I was like, wait, hold up. Spend the gold that they have. Double infinity. They got a kill. The carries. They got the a kill. On the shoulders of BDS has been something that has plagued them since like joining the league. Months. But it looks like that monster has no intention of going anywhere. You know the saddest part is BDSA sister team, the academy team, just made EMEA finals. They'll be there at Munich. The fact that the mother roster or father roster, whatever you want to call it, won't be there alongside it. Would be heartbreaking now. It's a 10k gold lead. I'm gonna level with you. This would be a miracle. Ibai is really nervous. Oh, I'm so happy for Ibai because if G2 win this game, Mad goes to Worlds. Ibai goes to Worlds. That's so nice, though, seeing your team go to Worlds. I'm buying a rabbit. Not the hat. Everyone doubted that Mad Ross for the side of the year. They thought Mad maybe 10th place. Now they're locking Worlds in the next 10 minutes. To you, BDS. Crazy. Proven wrong. Oh, Nuke's ult was not bad. Oh, Hansama's flash was perfect. Hansama's flash was perfect. While it looked great in the draft, hasn't been able to play the game. He ends up falling, Lebrov ends up falling. The wall that was BDS's top side has crumbled. And now with the Baron buff, G2 set their sights on the second inhibitor and maybe even the game. I mean, now the death timers are long enough. Inhibitor's gonna start it off. I mean, it, BDS were given this window It's over, open. it's done, G2 are it's done, it. it's over. From it's Shadow. GG, G2 farewell, goodbye, see you to later. No more BDS for the rest of the year, they're gone. Fnatic and Mad Lions are locked at Worlds. EU has its Worlds representatives. EU has its Worlds representatives locked. An incredible reverse sweep for G2. Amazing. When they wow. looked down and out, it felt like that they had no options. They were able to shift their priorities in the draft. And individually, they set up. Oh my god, this picture of Nuke is so sad. That was BDS in front of them. And oh my god, Cat Despair. To BDS because they put up a valiant fight, but this wall that is G2 has stood in their way at every step. Yeah, I know, I mean, Caps on the Tristana was absolutely insane. Cat Despair. You can for him of your player of the series if you want to at LEC on X alongside Aya, Aya, Aya. And Aya. Aya. Sama. But honestly, impeccable performances. Across the board, there was big step ups. Mickey's Nautilus looking great in the last couple of games, Boom. but the Tristana for me was just night and day across the series. This is clearly a pick. I, I can't believe Cap Mad Lions have made it to I'm Worlds sure though. That there will still be After that summer split, I can't believe it. Their road through the lower bracket will continue. They will be going up against the loser of Mad Lions, Moy versus Fnatic, which is happening tomorrow. But they've also secured a world spot for MDK and Fnatic as BDS fall today. You can see BDS, I mean, was so close 
so many times throughout this year. Yeah, so many times. So Dom just tweeted a stat. Our third place team. Mad good. Lions have qualified for Worlds no with a 36% win rate since February. What? Mad really? Fanatic, all are going to Worlds. It's and amazing how somehow Mad Lions quite always find a way. They what? Find a way. B BDS always losing game five and it's MDK always making always it making We've got world. certain, you know, script writing yep. issues. Uh, yeah. We've got to figure it out. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, again, I'm that is crazy, that stat. I mean, they, they won a best of five against G2. So I think for me, that's huge. like a passable reason, you know? know today is but obviously still about G2 BDS. if you generate, if you like mad. zoom out, it's really, really weird that they, all they had to do was beat G2 to go to Worlds on Paper. Exactly. That, that, that's the difference. And that is the difference, right? BDS were given the exact same yep. opportunity, sure. and um, and unfortunately they won a the best of five that mattered, and that's it. End, end that final is it is it wrong that they had to win one best of five that mattered to qualify to Worlds? Yes, <laughs> but it was against the best team in the region. Game number three. No, I think it was even before that. And yeah, G two. There's just always something about them. It's frustrating, but it's also, I think, classifying the region. A lot of people say G two is the region. But it's hard it's when, so you know, they go is down there a, Is there a similar they example in BDS, they still win. LCK, it LPL? Feels like they are just inevitable. And at this stage, I think everyone mm, I don't think so, is that there? is remaining in the season finals is now going... At least yeah, go, LCK, LPL, you, you need to win a couple. Through this now. Well, let's listen. It's very hard to sneak in. Uh, Mickey X with his Nautilus. Is it a god or it, what is it, Mickey? I actually, I actually don't know of it, but maybe he does. But first things first, Mickey, thank you so much. Chat, we're going to be going to LCS now. I'm Congrats going to grab a coffee real quick. We're going to pace it up and we're going to go LCS. We're going to lock in for LCS. Banger of games, if I may say. But I was just talking to Romain now and he was telling me <laughs> nothing special about the guys. They were like, Yo, really what time are you coming over? 2 0 up. Which what the fuck does that mean? It means I'm not sure. <laughs> what I just saw for the past four hours. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he was on the wrong side. What but, the like, fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? But uh, I think Jesus. Well, did a great job, but calming me down because I was pretty tilted after the first two because right. I was running it, especially the first game. Um, but yeah, cheers to my team. And then we also started drafting very well and actually had really good ideas and good plans. And we played more reserved. And then the game just wow. felt a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, how, how did you guys adapt? We will touch on the Nautilus performance, guys. Do not worry. That's on uh, the menu. But um, how did you guys readjust, actually? And hey. What hey. was the difference maker oh. starting in game three? Let me change the title real um, quick. Chad. Well, we stopped making Zeri mid. That was like the first adjustment LCS. that we did. Uh, Summer saying that he playoffs. had 20% of win rate in it, like on it. Elimination so, like, series. He was also a bit skeptical just before the game. But we can't expect it anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, they also played a lot of Corky, also had really high prio, and they banned a lot of mids for it. Um, All right, let me grab my, yeah, uh, my drink like real quick, one second. After chat. the first game, I was for sure not confident in the Nautilus 2-3 that we did in the first game, but then 4-5, I was back mentally, so I was like, okay, we can nice. do it again. <laughs> just, a, just a good game of Seraphine to get you back on track, Miki. Let's yeah. talk about the first two games, though. <laughs> I, I want to know what happens when you do something like this. Obviously not running it down because obviously something is not clicking here. But I'm just wondering, if you miss one engage, the second engage, the third engage, do you have like a mental block afterwards that goes in your mind where you're like, well, I'm just not going to land one hook this game. And I don't know how much your mental crumbles when you have a bad start with this champion. I mean, I think the engage part is not really the problem. I think the getting caught and dying a lot is like the bigger problem because then you're like scared to rock anywhere because you feel like they're always out to get you. But uh, I think, yeah, actually, that first game, I just actually could not play the game. I don't know what was wrong with me. Yeah. I was calling Canon Minions Grumps for some reason. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. And what about game four and five? Actually, you've been playing perfectly. I know that there was even a Mickey redemption. So you felt confident enough to pick the champion in the end. Look at this. Yeah. How beautiful it was. Um, well, after the Seraphine game, I felt like, OK, uh, the games are pretty easy if I just like chill out a bit. And also, I guess the first two games, their level ones were a bit different. So we got caught a little bit off guard, but then we were much more ready for it. Um, actually, game two, they said plot armor. Like, I don't, they always lived the one HP. I was like, unbelievable. <laughs> enough, enough about the Nautilus. Honestly, yeah. the, uh, congrats on that, taking this on. I just want to ask something about G2 in general, because I know that uh, your coaches talked about this in Euphoria, the fact that there's always expectations for G2. 
domestic expectation, but also international expectations. And you beating your opponents is often not enough. People assume excellence from you guys and expect excellence on the side of G2. Is it some, some expectation that has a weight on you or is your coaching staff helping you actually just like get rid of the fact that if you don't show up great, then people are going to talk about it? I think we don't pay too much attention to what the public perception is. I think we just expect a lot from ourselves. So I guess in that sense, there is pressure on us to perform every game because, especially in Europe, we expect to dominate Europe so we can actually have a good shot internationally. And, you know, if you look at the first two games, that wasn't really the case. But I think the last three was pretty good, you know. So if we keep up the trend, the momentum, I think we're going to be good to go, yeah. It's all about recovery. One down, two to go. And in that sense, MDK is going to face off against Fnatic tomorrow. What are going to be the main takeaways from this series and who's advancing, advancing in Grand Finals? Um, I'm not really sure who will actually win tomorrow. I would say Fnatic looks more convincing, I would say. And I think Medline showed a lot of their right. cards against us. Stop saying but F when it yeah, gets to PGL. I think it could go either way. I, I think my lines play really well anyway. I so, can see what you're writing. Uh, I can see exactly we'll see what you're that. writing. We'll see about that. Mickey, thank you so Why much don't for we say F when it gets to PGL? You fuckers. Shots Shut over up. Shots over, over to you in post-game lobby. Take it away. Look at this chat. We got a big one. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. I am here with Caps and with Yike and with Oduwamne to talk about the reverse sweep oh, yeah. a little bit more. Talk to me, Caps. Uh, we heard it from... Talk to Mickey me. already about kind of like you guys tell me really what the fuck what was that was on, and tell me why you're never playing Zeri ever again. Was going right, Yike. What for you was the main thing that changed up your momentum? Uh, I think for sure in the first two games we were a bit more scared. We even said it like after the game one and game two we were like not really playing as aggressive. Like we were also like reaching a lot. We were trying to look for place where we actually can't really go, and we were doing that like all the time in the first two games. And then we told each other to just. Like we were winning the games, kinda. I think we were ahead in some of the yeah. like early games, and Man. yeah, we just needed to like play our game. And then that's crazy that Mad made it to Worlds. Yeah, and Caps, I mean, you had a huge game that first one. You know, when they were on match that point, is you're crazy. like, okay, now I'm gonna start playing. I Talk hope Mad Lions series. in yeah, their series know, against Fnatic look good. Slow, slow start to this I hope sure. Mad I don't just uh, bomb out of season we, finals. As, as Jack said, we were like all reaching a lot. I think we had some okay early games, also some some maybe some not the if best. If they bomb out of season finals, I'm gonna be so out of it. We bounced back anyway. And then I think we just ended up overreaching a lot. Uh, so I think especially like when we were trying to kill Rakan on top in the first game, I think. It's like we could probably just get Drake and if we fight there, we'll probably be winning. But it's like we is make this it a 5 and we just lose. So yeah, a lot of... But chat, fights. Mad Lions did the uh, same thing so last year. Didn't like, they make Worlds by winning zero yeah, best of fives all year yeah, long we last year? a lot about obviously after that game one about making death. Because it's kind of the lightning. It's always that mad. Talk about everything, but we also always add zero that's best of five wins. Too, because like times when you get caught, was that 2022? He's the one that dies, etc. Um, is there anything you say about that? Because you know that he's probably coming off the earth, thinking, "Oh my god, I had such an awful game." Do you, yeah, I mean, is there anything in the team talk that's like? <laughs> usually it is just like Yai calling for it, right? So that's why Mickey died. Always Yai. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I mean, it's, it's team calls for sure, right? And I think yeah. some of the times it was just like very yeah, bad team calls we had, and it was like Mickey was trying to to fall through it right mm -hmm. uh, and i think the later games i think he also got better at calling off like okay this is just like very if i go here right so uh, i think uh, like we know i mean i, I don't know da, 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 da. Game, what is this like, tweet game one where he died a lot right i think not so yeah good. i saw but, this i saw but, that one uh, for sure it's not like man g2 tweets or g2 and tweets are pretty good that as well he's played a lot of nautilus games throughout his life 2023 <laughs> they won so. one best of five <laughs> so it's kind of the same yeah. was mad at worlds uh, last year a lot more pressure they were right um you guys lost obviously to MDK last week, and now we come into this into the series. They were. They lost to Weibo, didn't they? And also, I felt like it was extremely yeah, did. that you didn't switch sides, which you did uh, against MDK game five. Did so Mad win one best of five in 22 in and 23 to make Worlds both this, times? Uh, game three. Are you serious? Uh, for sure. I mean. Nah, they won. They won a few best of fives. They won against Koi in a best of five in winter. And I was also a bit scared, but. They won against SK in a best of five in winter. We always played, and we were always like successful with, even in like internationals. So. I mean, they won winter split, didn't they? Yeah, they did. We just took over the game, and then for the next games, it just went easier and easier. So that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for sure, I think we were all like a bit stressed, right? Because we were really just not playing up to par, and we really want to make Munich as well and playing. Or spring, they were champs, yeah. Um, like BDS, we played a BDS a lot of times this year, and I think the series have always been quite messy from us. Like we won a lot of them, but it's definitely been quite messy. Uh, and 
you know, we just have to be ready for whatever Messi. BDS throws at us. Messi, Messi, Messi. Did you, you are aware of, were you aware of the fact that BDS does have a history with best of fives, with reverse sweeps, with three twos in general? But and is that Did they know or did they have no idea? Kind of channeled or did you not know? I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, I didn't yeah, think they would really, know. I think, I think they're, they're always losing the... Yeah, yeah they always get a reverse sweep. Unfortunately, oh, no. this is the third reverse <laughs> sweep and like the fifth time they've lost three to two in the last two years. That's a bit sad. Yeah, it's quite sad actually. But it's also the first time G2 reverse sweep since... Yeah, why did you make them cry? Right. How could you, man? You made them sad. That's your fault. Oh, was it? Know your history. Yeah, anyway, we're looking at some Caps Look stuff. Ah, you are the Kia player of the series. Caps, congratulations. Caps Kia player Thank of the all. series. It's like everyone else was inting too much, I think. I got the, I got the insect off after last week. <laughs> last week, I, I tried to do an insect as well, but... Uh, but you did it like the really old man, you just flashed. You didn't yeah. even do our flash. You were just like so, your hands were shaking. Yeah, I mean, he was done for like three seconds. So I was like, you know what, I'll just like do it nice, nice and easy. <laughs> nice and easy. What about you, Ike? Is this your first reverse sweep? I think so, actually. Career. Yeah, I think I've never done a reverse sweep. Have, you been have reverse I ever sweep reverse sweep? No, I don't think I've been reverse oh, sweep. So <laughs> Not yet. So, yeah, this is the first like reverse sweep I've done. No, so but I've been reverse nice. swept. <laughs> very happy. Very happy the oh, the first F-bomb out of the Ike. Let's go. Is it actually your we first F-bomb as well? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Game 5 is getting to him. Uh, I, mean, I would too after a Game 5. My God. <laughs> Don't worry oh. about it. We've got like five. I've been reverse there. swept. Um, but yeah, I did want to talk a little bit about uh, your performance. I feel like this year's kind of Fun. Fun. Let's say the entry into the league was really, really insane, and people kept um, singing your praises. You were going on the up and up. I got reverse swept by in the Challenger the Series in 2016. Well, we were 2 0 like up against it was a Huma. Little more up and down. How have you experienced that personally? And w is there anything you can point to? Yeah, for sure. Last year when I we joined, were two I oh up. Start, like we lost year, the three two. Winning, and then oh really hell good. no! A, good year, a lot of praise, and that was very nice for me. Kind of boosted my ego a bit. And then this year, for sure, it's gone a bit worse. Like it's been more like ups and downs, as you said, basically. And yeah, it's for sure. Corky Merchant the, returns. Yeah, it's like true. And all of this, of course, but that's just what it is. You know, being What can I say, bro? Get, like you, you have to get used to it. At some point, someone's gonna hit you, and. Yeah, uh, yeah Werely B reverse that. swept me, that games. fucking Absolutely. rat. We got an expert here on that. Yeah, I mean, uh, not winning as much as uh, as Yeg no, did, you know. Oh, the <laughs> hate. Oh, yeah, I've been I've been through that. You know, I'm a master. I can teach you all about that. I can uh, I I <laughs> can you. teach you how to piss off a lot of communities. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's also kind of a transition period because yeah. you're coming over on a rookie, and especially when you come on 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 G2 side, everything is just so to the moon. Everyone's just so. Da -da 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 -da. You know, everyone's hate watching da -da -da. G2 ready to lose, sure. and then da -da -da -da. when G2 loses, it's like da -da -da. you know, with a little magnifying glass, who's in thing? Oh, this guy. And he's, not a, and he's not a rookie anymore. Let's hate on him even more, you know. So, are just, you hyped uh, for some LCS? I'm actually exactly kind of hyped. It's been a while. I missed point. the other LCS it series is, on and Sunday it also last week. Was for BDS, my bad. They, uh, What's going on with your hair? What's going on with my hair? What's wrong with it? Should I put it like this? Is that better? I always thought about doing that with my hair. It is quite long. Striker, thank you so much. Oh for my god, an interview, loser interview. Oh my god. It's not easy, and it's obviously not the result you you guys expected today. Quick reaction about this series. Is there anything that caught you off guard with G2? Because you guys started phenomenal oh my god. again. I'm just wondering what happened here. Um, anything that caught us off guard? Not really. Uh, I think that we kind of knew what they wanted. Um, and we drafted accordingly. Started well, but uh, yeah, it was not enough. Did you s did cry, you perceive man. any Don't change cry. in, in the too. player's oh, attitude? No. Because from game one, game two, oh my two, god, you I win. feel so bad for we him, man. We know what can happen with BDS sometimes, and I do feel like that's something you guys had to be careful about. Maybe just like uh, not not let the situation get out of hand. So did you I think loser interviews are important, in though. It really encapsulates like how they the feel. They were communicating, maybe. I think worst case you can cut mm -hmm. it if it's too bad yeah, in terms of emotions, but, but I, think I think loser interviews are I think good. That's just part of competition when there is emotions that are involved. I think um, that oh, is. game one well a bit, um, I would say, Mm, not fully proactive. Uh, I think that we could have been way more. Uh, game two, we played a bit better, but I don't think that the game three decided the BO. Uh, I think that we are still in there mentally. Yeah. Uh, we just didn't manage to win one more game. Mm. You, you talk about emotions, and I'm actually wondering the impact of emotions in a situation like this when game three, uh, game three slips from your hand, game four as well, you arrive game five. Uh, what was what was the mindset of your players and also maybe the advice that you shared if there were any and again the impact of emotions in a best of five like this when mm. you reach this game five? I mean you just have to remind them that you just won two games and uh, we did not become worse in the span of 
one hour right uh, so there is not yeah. too much to be worried about even though it's easier said than done but that was basically what i told them and we just made adjustment in draft and try to go for the game five mm -hmm. are there any learnings that you would take from this series as a coach maybe not just so much for your players but in the way you handle series like this? No, I would say that it's uh, still early. Need to reflect a bit, right? Um, on everything that uh, happened, but I think the biggest takeaways that you can have are more like for the year, right? Than just the best of five series. Um, because what got us here, but most likely also what didn't allow us to go past this day is mm -hmm. things that we done uh, before that, before today. And talking about what's next, I'm. I can only imagine how much your players are going to need each other and need their stuff coming out of the studio. Um, what, what, what kind of attitude, what kind of words would you share in your players in a situation like this? I mean, I think the most important is for them to uh, look forward, take lessons mm. from this year, uh, whatever the future brings, right? And get better individually um, or as a group. But uh, that's the only thing that you can do since Thanks. like the season is over, right? Um, like you have hard moments in a career. The only thing that you can do is try to use them. Uh, you cannot really change them. It's normal to feel sad in this kind of situation. Um, yeah, you just have to reflect. Yeah. Champions mentality, overcoming and adapting, uh, whatever life throws at you. To close this interview, do we like to say some words to the BDS fans, maybe? And community that has been cheering for you all year long and for the past years you've been at PDNs. This is your camera. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, thank you very much, guys, for everyone who supported us. Uh, the BDS community is not the biggest, but it's growing slowly. And uh, it's of a big help to see how you guys support us during the year. So thank you, and uh, we hope to do better next year. Community is growing, and thanks to you, oh, your seven. efforts and your players, of course. And on behalf of LEC fans, I want to say thank you for the year. And looking forward to seeing you guys next year. Thank you so much. Merci thank you. Striker. Shocks, over to you. Chat. I just realized yes, that every BDS team is, uh, that just made it to Worlds out, are teams that reverse swept BDS. Mad G2 and Fnatic all reverse swept them, and BDS they've only been reverse swept by those teams. Oh my god, it gets worse. Yeah, I am a bit sad. Not it gets worse. It, it is sad, but at the same point, it, we have to be cutthroat here because they have been a contender for a lot of time now. It's been two years, I think, where they've been consistently aware. going to No, I know. Aware, right? They always fall short at the finish line. And it's sad because, as uh, Striker said, the BDS community is growing. I wonder who they change like, on that roster. Everyone just kind of starts liking BDS because they're a serious contender, attracts everyone. But at the same time, they always fall at the finish line. And yeah, I guess it's next year to see what the expectation is because when they fight these guys every single time when they get into playoffs and they end up losing it's, it's just sad you know because you start getting remembered as the guys who are always losing. Yeah, i don't know who they change always losing to g2 and also i think you know uh, this is a league where you have to be g2 if you want to reach anything right and mdk did it and that's why i like nuke partly why I mdk finds themselves mm, in munich I don't know, mdk actually. fanatic and g2 all heading to munich and but those bds academy is insanely good aren't they the championship of europe in Europe, um, Caps, what do you think about the fact that you locked their academy the team's crazy, right? In with you at Worlds. <laughs> uh, I mean, definitely, I feel a bit bad for BDS just because uh, they got third both of the all the free splits they actually did so, so far. so well this year. So it was like really looking up for them to like uh, be the third third seed, and I think uh, mm. us losing to Mad last week was like chat. Tomorrow is like, Mad I mean, versus Fnatic. Like, no Winner slay, goes to but we finals. The chance of like taking out like the G2 a, a, a series that they play against the loser uh, will so be in Munich feel, next weekend on the Saturday. But uh, again, we just have to, to win against Mad now, win against Fnatic. Who's the jungle support uh, at BDS sure, Academy? Uh, they will represent us well at Worlds. Yeah. Uh, Yike, how excited are you to head to the big stage that is Munich? Yeah, I'm very excited. I was a bit scared as well, you know, today if we're not going to miss it. But we made it. Skewman and Parus. I think it's a good top three. Really? I think Fnatic is looking strong. Mad Lions, they beat us. So they're for sure good. Um, really? Yeah, it's going to be exciting for sure. And also us, after ga going five games today, it's probably going to be some spicy games coming. Hopefully. For me, what's the most interesting is that I think we haven't had a clear dark horse in a while because every time, uh, every year, we would look at the playoffs and be like, Ooh, who's going to be our dark horse? Do we want to have one? And it always used to be a clear cut, you know, top three with... Uh, When's Reckless Fnatic playing? He's playing Monday morning. Yeah, right now with MDK, they're just Monday so Monday morning. Man. You don't really know if they're going to win LEC or they're going to get Storm 3-0. So True. for me, it is... A really nice addition. There's a lot of flavor and spice going into into the into Munich. I will say, out of the two scenarios, I maybe would have liked the one where it was still all for world qualification. That would have meant that G2 wouldn't have made it. But this one is also nice because I have this hope that because you're all already locked into worlds, you're just gonna 
play your hearts out and play with a little bit less nerves and we're going to see kind of the best version of these teams that we could, one can dream. Right? Yeah, I definitely prefer this one. Where yeah, you need to set I, up I, a lot I of alarms <laughs> tomorrow, Sorry, so you wake up. No, yeah, no, I'm gonna have sure. to, I'm gonna have to wake up in around. Well, it's ten o'clock now. I mean, I need to wake up at seven a.m. And we got a best of five now. Yo, NRG versus Dignitas. Please. I never thought I'd say this, but please don't be a five-game series. Please, please be a quick one. Bless up, bless up. I want three 30-minute games. We cover it. And then tomorrow's best of five, TL 100 Thieves, that can go to five games. I promise. Five-game series. It can be a 10-game series tomorrow. Sunday can be a 15-game series. I'm down. But today, because I got to wake up at 7 a.m. and do this whole thing again, give me three. Give me three. You feeling out of juice? No, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling out of juice at all yet. I'm just worried that tomorrow morning I'm going to be out of juice. If I don't get enough sleep. Uh, and you'll see G2 in Munich. They won't be back in the studio this weekend. Um, so yeah, we'll let them go. We'll say goodnight and we'll see you tomorrow for Fnatic versus MDK to see who gets their ticket straight to that grand. Chat, who's going to win? Bye. Quick, tell me. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> the biggest summer blockbuster is coming back to the LCS for the first time what in What is years. this? The drama, the action, the upsets, the unthinkable miracle runs. The quest to qualify for the LCS championship and a chance to prove yourself against the best teams in the world. Is it Gladiator reference? There's not just a title on the line. Hey, that's on me. On this stage, you're trying to punch your ticket to the greatest show that League of Legends has to offer. When you throw down this playoffs, will your team be stoked by the flames of battle or reduced to ashes falling through the rubble? It's all in. A high stakes, no holds barred, turbulent all out brawl as teams fight back up the mountain for one last chance at glory. Every match matters as LCS playoffs revisits an old favorite in the clash for the championship. No more go faster. Chances. Go faster. No lives left go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Welcome go faster. Back to the gauntlet. There's my boys, 100 T's. So it, it, I mean, it's, it's it actually is for pro. It's like actually ludicrous. 100 T's, what is this? Is for pro. Like they, yeah. they should yeah. definitely be doing that. Man. You Bro, I love Kobe. Kobe's my favorite. Uh, we do. So did you see the Nate Shot podcast? What do you mean, did I see the Nate Shot the, podcast? No, I, I don't. Really What's the Nate Shot podcast? From teams that are at the bottom, you know, mm -hmm. teams that are at their lowest hope. Pull out some surprise stuff. Pull out some stuff that Ooh. other people are not doing. So, ah, Galio. Okay. Is one What's the Nate Shot podcast? Galio one is one specifically that for a long time, Check since Galio got stream? changes Why, what's he doing? health ratios, has actually been a good pick. Now we were dropping hints about this and talking about this a little <laughs> okay. bit ever since MSI and since the yeah. you know some support players, namely Core JJ, was using it a lot as support. Da, 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 but da, 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 da. Can be used he regrets as well going as into esports. We saw it a tiny Wait, what do you mean that he regrets going into esports? So he regrets so making 100 that Thieves? Something that if you are on one of these bottom teams, Camille is in a pretty good state right now. That pairs well is with it got a link? I want to see that clip. Nocturne compositions. You can do these very easy to execute is the main thing I'm going for here. Yeah. Galio engages with it, have you got the clip or, or some shit or any of those hard engaged champions and you can use Kaisa you can do these dive comps I think there are lots of other looks that these teams haven't necessarily uh, branched out wait hold up there's 50 minutes till LCS starts I kind of want to listen to this actually I'm curious how hundred you've started how money ruined esports when hundred you've struggled what timer is it at Is it here? Nate shot almost quit 100 Thieves? Is it this part? 2320? Now, and I just don't know what's right and wrong anymore. So I appreciate that perspective, the fact that you actually think and we saw from the outside looking in that we made a huge uh, impact on gaming and just internet yeah. culture around esports but my my opinion and like my perspective on 100 thieves and the decisions we've made in the past is 
I, I truly don't know what what was good and what was bad because I just I'm too far down the fucking Pandora's box. What yeah. was your perspective, Jack, from the outside looking in pre? So this is in the timestamp. Yeah, like as as a fan of the industry, as a commentator. Are you sure, this is the timestamp. Like, your perspective as Hundred Thieves came on the scene. I mean, the first moment I saw Hundred Thieves was when I was casting it must be here, no? in Burbank for the first year of the Call of Duty World League, and Matt tweeted out about 100 Thieves, and I was, like, follower number 416, <laughs> like, 10 minutes after it went out, or right. actually one minute after it went out, but with that early. And I remember buying, like, the first shirt. I actually have a photo of me just as a fan of oh, what before Matt was that doing. Line? Out, and I, we just tried to do too many things at once, and it put us in a position where we just bottlenecked the entire business and burnt everybody out. And I have felt burnt out for so long. Mm. And so like when people would ask me five years ago, hey, what do you think about this creator? What do you think about this player that we should sign? What do you think about this apparel drop? What do you think about this theme, these colors? I would have an answer about every single thing. But mm. now I've like second guessed my instincts because of how much has changed from 2017 to now. Mm. And I just don't know what's right or wrong anymore. So mm. I appreciate that perspective. The fact that you actually think interesting check 48, 15 from the outside looking in that we made individual. So like, is he saying that Ludwig's making esports like is just bur like burning money? I guess her own event. Yeah. Helping her facilitate that bringing in the sponsorship, right? Yeah. Doing like individual creator style events. Yeah. I think those are just two like very different businesses, you know, with the amount of capital that we have raised, if like we could go reset and start from scratch, there probably would not be any focus on esports. If if you had if I had to make that decision today as yeah. A, yeah. A, a businessman um, who has tens of millions of dollars at his fingertips to deploy as a CEO of the company, uh, and I don't think that takes away from any of the validity behind the value behind esports teams. Like that could get clipped. You might think I sound like a fucking moron. When Why I say does he that. think esports? Like, how money ruined esports? Hmm. What I think the best course of action for a legacy team like Optic or Team Liquid or Cloud Nine. It's and being content or what? The seven years that we've been in esports, just I would consider us like a legacy team compared to some projects and you know spinoffs that I see like you know Ludwig working with Moist or. This guy's toast, which I like some of the things that he's doing, but it you, with where we're at, how much money that we've raised, and 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 just our position in the gaming community and esports as a whole, that's why I say it's probably best that we operate as a traditional sports company. Mm -hmm. We do content because we want to, not because we need to. Sell the merchandise, and then mm -hmm. really bank on esports continuing to grow over time as the spectator experience gets better for the games that are being played. That's the beautiful thing about gaming. I think there's there's always going to be another opportunity in the future, and that might sound like a fucking uh, um, infomercial fucking like sales pitch, but it's like to me with how Valorant popped up four years ago and Riot with the staying power of League of Legends, like we know that they're going to continue e to create more games. We know that yeah. Call of Duty is not going to let esports of competitive Call of Duty just go away, mm. and there's going to be more in the future that happens. I'm not understanding though. How Chat, do, t do teams make more money from Valorant or for League, from League? I wonder. Is, I, I know that's a very like that question probably has a lot of nuance behind it. But like, is there is there an answer from Valorant? You think is it because of you can sell in-game shit, right? In Valorant, how you make money as a sports team? And like, you can buy champions bundles. But why don't they have that in League then? Or is it just like coming in League or some shit? When you're saying that partnership revenue, okay. they're also so probably logo cheaper. Yeah, representation logo stage, representation. Got the it. content that the player. They're also probably cheaper. Why does he say money is ruined esports? Yeah, I, I'm curious how that how that started to unravel and play out. You know, for me, a little bit more unfamiliar with like the world of esports, and I watched the Chai, I got some squats. On phase, and there's a moment I'm listening in though. that where they say in like 2017. A kid who won uh, a Fortnite like world championship or something like that took home a three million dollar prize. Yeah. Same year, Tiger Woods wins the Masters, takes home a two million dollar prize. Yeah. It's like an exorbitant amount of money. It's a big difference. What? Kind of shocking to me and surprising. So obviously, there's a ton of money flowing into this space. Tiger Woods. <laughs> is <crazy>. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's insane, like, right? How does that? I'm like, getting some blood in my legs. How does that start? It's a good to idea, no? Unravel and show itself as a problem. Well, I think you know on the other side where Matt was at the timeline where Matt was doing all that, I was still 
of what I was doing was esports commentating, so I ca casted the finals of the Fortnite World oh, Cup. Oh, I'm out of breath. So that was uh, June or Ju July 2019. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that was Booga who won. Uh, Bro, I didn't answer my question. So basically, so we're Bro, all yeah. losing our minds. There was like, th th they did all these weekly online tournaments. One guy, the first weekend of it. One guy. I think it was the first weekend of it. Got first place. People thought he was like cheating. Won a quarter of a million dollars. Got his money. Never showed it up in an online tournament again. Like it was just the wild west in regards to prize pool at that point. They didn't and really need to do that. I don't even remember why they did. They just that. were making. There was no. No one was budgeting. They had Fortnite was making so much money, and it was just like, yeah. let's just do it. And yeah, I, Fortnite was quick. It came and went water. as quick as it was oh, there, bro. But back to like a it main. might have ruined the game. <laughs> but the idea being like, let's make millions. They burnt, of bro. That well, the they, Fortnite well, burnt Epic quick. Also has changed. Epic's approach, I would say, from speaking with people there, uh, you know, Mark Rain, co-founder of, of Epic, and you know, it's I've still had some big conversation with him. They're but didn't they have like uh, ten mil or something for the winner of um, of uh, the first Fortnite Worlds? Yeah. Right. Like, what do you think? I I don't know the answer to this question. How much does Epic Games make, or like a, a Roblox or something like that? Well. You know, I know that the biggest thing that's gone on in gaming in the last year, which has been a lot of flack, is the amount of layoffs in what many people in the gaming scene would be like, this game is doing layoffs. Like, they're the most successful Got it. of all of us. Well, there's um, reasons for that, though. No, absolutely. But I'm just saying, you know, with the amount yeah, of I'm stuff about that the Epic e does, chat. I'd actually be really interested to I'm see. I'm talking about esports. If Epic is pro like, as profitable. a profitable business, Got it. Yeah. like they have Unreal, Epic, you know, Epic I must be profitable, Fortnite right? For them, is a loss. Is could potentially even be a loss leader to promote Unreal Engine and Got promote. It. There is no way Fortnite's operating at a loss, right? No shot. Their, you know, that service, which is probably which is like their AWS. Yeah, exactly. Or like just where they where end. people go to develop games and yeah. everything along those lines. Like, Got there's it. a reason Fortnite now does yearly chapters. It's to show off what's the biggest and brightest yeah. mm. in Unreal. So, um, I mean, yeah, yeah they're like, fucking. I mean, Matt, 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 I'm sure you have thoughts on this, but um, hundreds of millions of billions of dollars. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there's a lot of money. I, a lot I, of money back, made. For back when I was in the office with John and like in the room every day, they would talk about these numbers all the time. I forget exactly like from the calendar year of 2022 to 2023, how much money would Epic be making? Jack's right. Like I actually, they started spending money just as quick as they were making it because they were just trying to continue to 5. scale. 5.6 in yeah. revenue. Like I'm certainly not qualified to talk about like the mm -hmm. macroeconomic climate and the recession that it never ended up getting labeled a recession, but there was such a significant downturn in spending across the board in every industry. And Epic at that time, you know, they were just spending money. Every, every company was that was making it. You're just continuing to. They just say everyone just expanded too quickly, like five years ago, didn't they? To invest. And then it they all caught up to them. invest. Um, and then they just kind of reach a scale where it was too much and every company goes through layoffs. But it's not like they aren't still like unbelievably well. Uh, oh, no. They're no, I know. Was it COVID that caught up to them or was it just inevitably going to catch up to them no matter what? I'm and kind I think of talking myself around circles in my head before I even say anything. So I got to like. And I think <laughs> it's been interesting too just to see um, just how well indie games have now started to really take over in Partially. a lot of ways too. Like indie, indie games developer. taking over? type games like mm -hmm. like a lethal company yeah that, and that's the problem with yeah. the gaming industry is that you you have publishers and companies that are trying to either venture back a video game or nah, bro, I, I think that people who just come up with new game genres are what pops off like the people who came up with valheim with the like i know it's not unique but like questing rpg survival banged when people came up with Among Us, which was like a, it was basically Town of Salem, but they made it into like a really user-friendly game that was TikTok easy, banged. When they came up with um, Lethal Company, which is like an exploratory multiplayer game with like slightly scary, banged. Easy, good short-form content. I feel like, and now there's a new game coming out called Deadlock, which is like a FPS, RP, uh, a FPS MOBA, could bang. Fall Guys, when it came out, obviously there was loads of games where it was like fucking jumping, falling shit. But it banged. It was easy to understand. It was fun, and you can play it with friends. Only, only up came out, which was I don't know if it was the first of its thing, but it banged as like a jumping simulator thing. It's like I think the people that don't repeat shit and they actually think outside the box create the new meta, and then people, for some reason, I don't know if it's game devs or people are just slow, 
but they catch up on this genre and they're like, oh, we'll make a game like that. But it's it's a year too late, buddy. You missed the fucking train. It's over. Like right now, I saw the Gamescom games release. Everyone's making s s multiplayer RPG um, survival games. It's just the same shit repeated. It's like, make your building. Discover the map. It's just Vampire Survivors or Valheim V2. They're all the same, but it's just you get different items or some shit. I feel like when you come up with something new, it's insane. Like Marvel Rivals is Overwatch. There's Apex copies coming out. Like you need something. Everyone's doing cozy games. Just you got to find the new genre. You just got to combine random shit. You know, why don't you make like a fucking RTS survival? Um, I don't know. FPS game. I, I don't know. You, I feel like you just got to find new genres. Yeah, there's loads of Tarkov copies. I just feel like game dev C game, game dev make genre don't work. Because I feel like the OG always wins. The OG always wins. In most cases. Maybe League took out Dota in the MOBA battle. But in most, most, most cases, the OG genre game or like the boom genre game that you're copying always stands on top. IMO. Like, imagine TFT right now. Imagine you made a TFT competitor, an auto chess competitor. It's not gonna work, man. TFT owns it. It's done. You... Once they're, st once they're like, once they're, once they're, um... Like, I don't know. That's just my take. I feel like the OG is just dominating. Like, WoW is OG MMO, and it's still the best MMO, isn't it? Like, most played? It just... Ro it just uh, WoW rolls, doesn't it? Most played MMO 2024. Let's see it. MMO populations by server. Watercraft's number four. Well, it's actually not number four. It's number two. Path of Exile's number one. What? Well, but total player count, 147 million. Jesus. That's crazy. Baldur's Gate 3 has 122 million. But active daily players, it's four. It's second. Path of Exile has 386k. It's not an, is, is it an MMO? Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is also an MMO. It's just, a, it's just an RPG, right? The fuck is this list? Accepting the good vibes Hold up. is the reason they're gonna win. You know what? My confidence has been restored. The decent squid in chat said, Yawn energy easy. So Do Dokla was Oh running. yeah, War of Warcraft still number one in 2024. Oh, because he's so confident. Right. Old school RuneScape number two, Final Fantasy three, Path of Exile four. Ha is Path of Exile a MMO? Let's get into game one. Oh my god. <laughs> the biggest summer blockbuster is coming back to the LCS for the first time in years. The drama. The action, the upsets, the unthinkable miracle runs. The quest to qualify for the LCS championship and a chance to prove yourself against the best teams in the world. There's not random just a list, ain't no way. Line. On this stage, you're trying to punch your ticket to the great. I'm actually, I never played Path of Exile one chat. Can you will play you Path of Exile one co op? Stoked by the flames of battle or reduced to ashes falling through the rubble. It's all in. A high stakes like no from the very beginning of the game brawl as teams fight I think I'll play Path of Exile 2 last chance at glory. I think I'll play Path of Exile 2 Every match matters as LCS playoffs I never played it old favorite in the clash for the championship No more second chances no lives left to lose Just you and This might be a very stupid rate. question chat Welcome back to the gauntlet Is Path of Exile on mobile? I swear I saw it on mobile no? Okay. I still remember seeing something like Path of Exile on mobile. Oh, cut. Fresh. Okay. Oh man, I love the song intro. LCS intro does hit. I like the LCS intro. It does gas me up. It gasses me up. Yo, gas me up. Gas me up. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. This song is crazy. Never change this intro song, please. Never. Never change it. Never change it.
I could do a rap over this chatter. I'm about to rat cap, yeah. No, I, I can't find the pacing. I can't find the pacing. Why not? Chat, is anyone SEA Welcome gang in the chat? Back to the summer is anyone SEA gang? LCS playoffs today. The lower bracket kicks off with energy and dignitas. Is anyone SEA? There's no way LCS SEA gang's awake. You're lying. <laughs> There's no way you're awake. Or is Dig season oh my finally God. on the way? It's time to cast is there any NA gang? Of the past and Yo, NA gang's rise and shine. NA gang, rise and shine. Right now. Wait, what time is it in, up, in LA? My name is Rafa. I'm joined on the casting desk by Azale and Jat. 1 the p.m. Between energy and Dingatos is underway. I'm excited to see Chat. what these teams. Do they stream the LCS now? in like China and Korea? Is there like Chinese and Korean casts of LCS? And it's time to see. It's put up or shut up. You know what? Can you really get done? Lower bracket no. always brings some what do you mean no? As well, really no? Teams are coming off pretty Why did I expect there to be something at least? On the lounge about the mid lane champion pool and immediately we're seeing Dig. Azir Renington Benz, wait. A little bit interesting since they are a team with Jensen, but I will say it denies from Power Fox and it means they have a different first pick in mind. Do you think that they go first pick Oriana and just like That's what I'm just like full send it on? Like, <laughs> I think they're who would work at 4 a.m. What's wrong with 4 a.m.? They're trying to pinch the control of Mage Pool. I think they're going to pick an ADC and everyone's going to be disappointed. That's oh, what I think Dignitas! So Wait, Dignitas is Trisana. so Trisana fucking. For so they ban oh, Renekton. I think he's I think on the ADC. Not the best. And I think right. if Lilia, if Sen is banned, they'd first pick Lilia. If Sen is up, they should first pick Senna. Based I didn't say bad. I, I didn't say bad. What? Nidalee like Ivern banned. What the fuck is that? Nidalee Ivern? lost to Senna in their final game. Uh, the winner on that champ is like out of control right it's, it's now. Ash really ban on blue side. Sure. Ooh. Um, it is a very, very powerful champion right now in bot lane. The one thing I will say is it does kind of change how you have to Ivern play. is turbo OP in the LCS, elsewhere. is he? Yep. Um, you can obviously play, you know, those Ivern. Which generally we see when we see it in pro. But Senna also does make a champ called as Uvern. a support. You can play double Is Senna first pick in... That I think is really, really powerful. I just don't know that we'll see it in the LCS because teams are so... Is Senna first pick in the LCS? For sure. Yo, the LCK didn't even touch it. Okay. We got it. Okay, Set we got our enchanter. Our memes will remain dreams as hell. <laughs> for well, now. We, for I, now. Said he, I didn't say first pick. I said he's going to play Corky or Tristana. That okay, is, that's sure. Fine. Yeah. Not first pick, though. No, no, not first pick. That's, that's what else we got? What else I we got? Talk think, to me. I mean, I hope that Jensen does move back towards mages because he's had mm -hmm. so much success. With no it. one wants to play. The it's 14 16. Yeah, LCK them, was 14 16 too, chat. You know, being played a lot globally. They're very, very popular. LCK is 14 16 as well. to see. Lilia already suggesting that we would get an AD mid here from Palafox. Of course, it's not guaranteed, but yeah, or else it's not highly probable. But Lilia I MF. Okay, I like it. Switching in this direction. They have the I don't like Senna. What is the Senna combos now? Senna Kalista. Is that a lane? Win against Flyquest last week was Bro, what happens if they just slam like a Blitzcrank on three? Good on it. Yep. So I'm happy to see LCK never tries anything new. Well, they played Nasus Ooh, mid today. Range bot lane. Was kind of so cool. Nice. Almost always in the LCS. Was kind of cool. Like fasting Senna with a melee like a Scion or a Tom Kench or whatever. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. It's a what are the best really pairings with, with Senna since the changes? With is Senna Caitlyn a lane? Like Caitlyn Feels probably There's fucking so annoying to play that. that it really does work well if you don't have to limit yourself to Tom on Kench. three. And this can play very lane dominant. I mean, Poppy top here is just absolutely sex, isn't it? Really good matchup top against Kalista as well. Can ban AP junglers for Lilia like Poppy top here is absolutely delicious. Rel is... Oh my god, I love it. It's disgusting. Just fucking do it. What a beautiful pick. What a beautiful pick. The best part of that pick is it's a flex as well. I mean, people really do have to think about it like an enchanter when you're going the full AP build, especially if you're skipping Black Cleaver and you're just going Echoes in a Moonstone and this type of build. You really I was the LEC series. <laughs> we don't talk about about the LEC series. So really we don't talk like about it. Than like yeah. an ADC. Yeah. Contracts loves prod, Poppy. Okay, I'm not here to judge. It's not about the damage. It's not like the lethality builds of old where... You know, if yeah, you Poppy Top is great here. You're getting plates and you're getting kills. You could actually pump out some real damage. This is not that. Yeah. Thank you, Pelilia. You still have a capable early game since it is... Midfielder yeah. genius. Yeah. Classic yeah. Shaohu codes. Good one. Into that oppressive feeling support that she is in the state of right now. Vyban. Mm. Like Vyban's kind of useless. Kalista Vy Senna. Sounds fucking terrible. 
wasn't it? If they had something like Rel, I would be a bit more cautious of a Vi pick. Yeah, yeah I think I would have banned Sejuani, to be honest. As well, so trying to target Spica here a bit. They already have their jungler. It's oh, that's a good blind mid. I feel like Zeri is really good here, no? Zeri is really good for damage share. I don't know what Palafox plays, though. What does Palafox play? Let's have a look at Shampoo. It's the only mage mid that has actually been banned. Pala Faker. Very standard, very easily, even with all of these jungle bands, because My God, Oriana, his win rate is horrible. Sort, yeah. Is still completely available, so it does dictate a little bit what. Dig don't play Alistar, man. Yeah, Rel's better. Malcolm They're gonna have to lane swap. I mean, Rel is the obvious one, but people do sometimes go dealer's choice on this, where they go Rel or Nautilus or Alistar, just kind of based on their own. Preference. Rats, I missed Eddie. See what happened? <laughs> don't go back. MF ulti. You yeah. can yeah. Really lock people in is there any secret champ you think could pop uh, up more? Um, now we're kind of waiting to see, you know, what the no, I don't think there's anything secret. Spica, as well as I don't think there's any secret pick, champs. You know, mid from Jensen. I do think we there's could. Sejuani. Yeah, I think they should have been Maokai Sedge. I imagine the Sedge what are they going to do? Play Kalista Ari Vi <laughs> against Poppy. Easy, Enjoy that. Then. Why are they playing Zin Zhao? Oof. But it's Oof. Gonna be the Zin Zhao so a are you playing TF mid or what? Oriana. I don't think the Oriana buffs were that good. I don't think the Oriana buffs were that good. Oh my god, he's yawning. The, the, the Wake up, the, the, man. We got a best uh, of five to play. Kind of Holy shit, that was a big one. It's Jensen's OTP. Oh, is it? It's a LeBlanc game. Actually, it's not a LeBlanc game. Ooh, is it a Tristana game? I'm actually a pretty big it might be a Tristana game. The of last patch and moving it here. You can also completely Jeez. with your own ult. You pop the guard, yeah. and that becomes oh, you know, a Okay. It's just so important for Chat, I'm gonna run ads game, real quick, uh, so you don't get the ads during the game. You can subscribe with a free Twitch Prime or a tier one. It's up to you. You don't have to sub. I'm gonna run them now. You'll be back before yeah, sure, the game starts properly, and uh, yeah, you won't get them during the game ever. You. Never, ever, ever will you get ads during a game. I'll always run them before. All right, lock in. Yeah, I don't. The reason I don't like Jace, I like Jace with Maokai. I like. I like Jace with Ziggs AD. I like Jace with Rumble, with Jin. I don't like Jace with Lilia Poppy. I would prefer a DPS champ. I feel like Jace is a bit poke, but he doesn't really have a poke comp here. Lilia wants to flash in, Rel wants to flash in, MF wants to ult, and Poppy wants to knock someone away. So you kind of need someone that can burst someone. Jace has a bit of burst, but I would prefer something like Tristana there. Or Zeri mid. These guys are very experienced, and if they get da, 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 da. what to do in those late game situations, but they're early. Yo, NA Frogs, I know you're awake now. Listen, now, uh, actually, I'll tell you after the ads. Into things like the Zinzal, the double range you're not used to NA Metacoms? Is, is Jace Lilia NA Metacom? I mean, I think we're going to know, you know, where the game is heading pretty quickly early on in this one, because, you know, if you're playing double range, have a look. Lane, you're getting behind. If you're playing the Zin and you are getting behind, things are going to be problematic here for Dignitas. I mean, you I will slap my cheeks and call me Susan if the bot lane prior to NRG right doesn't pull a lane swap here. They're absolutely rooms, crazy the if they don't pull a lane swap. Be playing from that place of power if Dig is going to be successful in this one. Right. You cannot convince me you're going to play MFRL against Senna Kalista and not swap. That's got to be schizo. That's got to be schizo not to do that. The Lilting Lullaby. The Lilting Lullaby. You're almost 13 hours deep. Yeah, I'm only halfway there, baby. Only halfway there, baby. Jensen back on Oriana. Yeah. Listen. This is actually an incredible. I got T1 ball. versus KT it's in 10 hours, bro. T1 KT, holy moly. The they didn't swap. The <laughs> well, I think MF's going down 10, 20 CS. And for Jensen, this is the first time that ability has been buffed in his competitive history. <laughs> so, in that sense, he is playing a new champion. And this is his best champion historically. Like he's been so good on the Oriana over the years. All right, I want to see some good gameplay. Where he wouldn't have good setup, he oh, they are swapping. Thank the Lord, the bro. If they didn't swap this I've game, been so consistent. 
They, I wonder if I they've been this, watching. Ever, uh, they're too late to stop Sinzao, maybe. Saban, are they too late? Say, okay, we were losing just because he was on uh, Lilia's swing on both camps. Okay, all good, all good, all good. Wait, Poppy snuck past the ward. She's gonna go here or she's gonna gank mid. And Jensen's hovering topside. Ay, 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 start E. Oh my god, hell yeah. Free damage from mid. Oh my god. It was hovering topside. One of the possible benefits of initiating the swap is if your top laner gets that early move on mid it can set the jace up as an advantage now Isles okay so lin stops good contracts and Dokla getting a little bit i like hope they stack properly because what could happen here is if mf and rel don't stack properly with lilia poppy being here Cassante just calls the bluff and well, catches top wave really and then poppy's gonna have to end up standing away, bot you know the camps on this bottom side because this is their weak side of the map where you just have that 1v2 so yeah licorice should think about this i think staying under tower could work here let's see about that situation um, and Isles and Sven obviously wanted to be playing you know, this dominant. They stacked it decently, lane actually. Range, bullying out Puhi and FBI because the lane swap that's being negated. Yep. Yeah, I mean, looking at the Not early bad. jungle pathing, uh, Lily is just going to be doing a normal full clear. Be is just going to do a normal full clear down. So can he hold that? He's level two. Broccoli, I think he's fine. You know. I think if Sinzao comes down, I level. think Dig can win the lane swap here. Level, his bar good, two now. good camp and skip there by Sinzao. Yeah, this yeah, was. Hey! Is already being stacked okay. up, so this is the time for Spica to jump on. He's gonna have to stack his Q on the minion, and he's gonna have to EQ him. Ah, uh, it's a horror. Yeah, it's a side, horror for NRG. Yeah, it's a horror. Oh my god, it's a horror. I can't describe how big of a horror it is. It's like an absolute yeah, jump scare. The trade-off is that Lily is still farming. There is no way Cassante just caught the whole wave camps, so in the lane swap. Trade-off of, you know, how much experience advantage can you get? Oh, Dokla, I don't blame you. Just go oh, die on the tower. In. That was pretty nicely done. The question is, is he too Oh, he miscued Sven. They're he's gonna dead. try to juggle the turret aggro. One Ooh, more he's attack. dead, Sven, I think. For first blood, he's not Sven. dead. He leveled up. Oh, Did he level up? Very close to hitting level two there. If what he is Dokla doing? <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. Shots, he's watching the enemy top the laner catch a whole top wave and get level four fails. while he's zoned away at level one. Yes, Just fucking walk up. Oh, yeah, Senna healed. That's why. Okay. Very good lane swap start for Dignitas. To be honest, it wouldn't have been that bad if Kalissa died. It would have been an excuse anyway, right? pressuring the mid lane early, but Jensen's already recovered. Well, I mean, just, just look at the I mean, look at it. Look at this. His really enemy top is level here. four. You know, is not I mean, and also he's the, very close uh, to level you know, two. The top and he needs two the minions for level two. Well. You know, That's one. He needs one more minion for level two, but Kalista gets aggro. If he got the level up, maybe he does live. Honestly, though, they could probably it was heal, right? Yeah, it was Senna heal. At the very least, you know, he did get a summoner off of his Ben. But the problem is... Very good dive. Good dive. Good stuff. Good pace. you look over here at Licorice, he's already level four. And lane swaps have been abandoned, so... Not a good start there for Dignitas. Dokla is also... Nah, top is disaster. Look at top lane. About this swap He's two levels down. Full Poppy two levels down, this Poppy. Can be a counterpick to the top lane Cassante. We've seen this lane play out Poppy favored a lot of times. And it was also, going back to the draft, this is the first Poppy game of Dokla this split. Three? It's no, he'll be two levels down. Maybe one, one and a half yeah. levels down, maybe, Obviously, after this wave. Like, that, that maybe Poppy two. More? Because of yeah, maybe one and a half, one and a half levels down. Yep. We'll see. MF will get okay, here comes their dive bot. Oh my massive. god, he oh, cleansed nothing, nothing. Okay. and he missed Q, and FBI sun, got aggro. Oh no, contracts got aggro. They got Jensen TB, he could flash over this wall. Double flash, not bad. Oh my god, Isles, W flash. No cleanse on MF. Ay, 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 ay. Yo, NRG have fucked the game. Not only did they not dive top because Lilia was clear, Hearing, the they missed. dove bot and so lost the dive. The rel to land so both side lanes are fucked. <laughs> is ready there with the teleport. Now oh, the hell no, nah, man. This is the comfort zone for Dignitas because previously they've been a team that is very poor about creating their own advantages. But now that they have that 1700 gold lead, one through their own dive and two from their own dive defense, they can kind of just slow play this out with their strong scaling. Yeah, I mean, Wait, I, G2 I lost to this? Really? Wave on them. Was Your sixth on best team in an A? G2 lost to that? From what? Isles, the fact that he's playing Guardian, what? the fact that he got those additional healing in of Ford's Sven and a very fast TP from Jensen. And then Isles here uses the move speed of the mm. E, catches up, yep. W flash over the wall, gets the root on FBI, they grab that kill. Jensen's the one that actually does pick it up. So I guess Ignar Gap was real. That wave mid as well. How has Huhi been in the split really, chat? Is he good or is he mid? For dig. I mean, that was just a high risk, high reward type of play for energy that did not pay Bad. off whatsoever. 
minutes because here at the Grubs for the first rotation, it looks like Contrax was able to yoink away the first one. Man, how long has who he been in the LCS? I swear he joined in 2016, didn't he? Force energy away. And we'll pick up the other Eight two. years in the I mean, LCS? This is now a map state Jesus. where Dignitas have full control of whatever objective they want to contest for. They're actually reinitiating the swap. So part of this was to make sure they didn't give up three Grubs to the jungler who was ahead. So Palafox is slumping real area, bad, is he? Test those grubs. As soon as they take the grubs, they teleport Licorice down to the bot side. He's actually going to be able to force the teleport out from Dokla as well, maintain that two-level lead, and get yet another plate, most likely. Yep, he'll be able to get that plate, no problem. Has the demolish bomb, Yeah, I mean, has NRG has two lead. losing side lanes, right? Up here because Spica is in the area, so they don't want to allow... Oh, FBI wow. can't even walk tower, up. So FBI is going to be denied that full wave. Who he could try to play some shenanigans here and hold the wave outside the tower range, but then it becomes a waiting game. Yeah. And eventually you will have to let it crash. And that's what he realizes because if oh, you the take that for too long, see him, maybe? just dive you, no. which is what they're going to try to do anyway. Can yeah, FBI, I mean, FBI has no flash. In a three V2, who he's already taken a lot of damage. It's Shot. good that Isles was tanking there, but they're both going to die maybe in the long play. Does Sven hit six? No, he doesn't. Oof. Maybe Sven can tank this. If Sinzao can stack his Q, let's see Sinzao. Onto FBI. They to try. They're gonna go for it again. Oh, no, Sven just gonna tank. Oh my, it's turn. over, it's over. Very clean it's over. By Dignitas. That was so well it's done, done by Dignitas. It's, zoning off it's FBI, done. Then corralling Huhi, you know, forcing him into a situation where he could not defend. They juggle the aggro really oh my Lord. there. And Dignitas now, 3k gold lead. We're not even eight minutes into the game. This is a stomp already. Poppy's Everything a full level down. the way of Dignitas. Contracts isn't even comfortable starting this Drake when Spika spent the last minute in the top side. He's slowly waddling his way towards his wolves. Four CS advantage in the jungle. 3,000 gold lead for Dignitas. Again, re -swapping. Chat, who's the favorite in this? Who would you say is the favorite? Entire time. I mean, the items for the AD carries just feel so depressing as well. When you're looking over, you have a... A Vamp Scepter and a Call. Like Dig is the favorites, so really. Has NRG just strong. looked awful or what? Uh, and Sven already has his tier 2 boots, already working towards that Blade of Rune King. You know, he is going to be quite strong here. They swap back. They're going to be able to get first tower on bot side pretty much guaranteed. Really? I don't yeah. see any way that Dokla could actually defend that. And then they could even pick up the Dragon if Spika wants to go down there. Licorice is not going to be able to be shoved off by a Vamp Scepter only MF. So he's going to be able to pick up all that farm. Bad just goes to worse, it feels like, for energy. Yep, energy immediately recalling that top side. Uh, they know these wave states are bad. I don't know if there are good wave states in the current game for them, though. <laughs> There's less the bad I mean, all Dig have to yeah, do yeah, here to control the game terrible. perfectly <laughs> is at 124. But if they know, look if for some kind of swap for six grubs, they can start to murder the map. And worse, it's not they really can. No, I mean, if they swap on the grubs time and they'll take tower top, I mean, bot tower stayed at nine minutes. And RG are all in a play. Dokla's roaming bot. Oh my god. Enemy top laner is ganking us bot. Red alert. Enemy top laner is ganking bot with no TP. I mean, they have full ward coverage as well. So they bring Poppy down. Yeah, that's not a jungle Poppy. That's oh, there we get five grubs. Yeah, same thing. Abandoning her post. So that's just. And the now top tower is dead as well. Yeah, dead as well. I mean, at the end of the day, you're dropping two plus. <laughs> <to even laughs> that's such a Whippo play, play actually. Dokla had a TP bot. No one has a TP <laughs> yeah, top tower is dead. Let's dive. Let's gank bot. Yo, what up, Vedi? How you doing? Instead, it just goes to Licorice, and you lost. Yo, Vedi, your casting was good today, Kat. Already really rough game. We're already down a ton of experience. He's denying the entire wave before allowing that tower to go. So then they're just going to get that tower bot right after. Yeah, Poppy and is completely done, so man. That Kassante can take over a game. Look at so that. Giving him the gold is also really scary. And yeah, tomorrow's best of five is going to slam. Quid's going to destroy 100 Thieves. The uh, the, the score team, look good. So you're telling me both side tier to towers are dead Saturday. in 10 minutes? And then we've got another couple like Rel might be dead as well, or MF might have to flash. Well. The first brick is claimed by Dignitas, FBI already Good Kalista will dip, you're feeling psychotic, are you feeling psychotic? They get one more slow, flashes away, but Sven is gonna hop, jump, and skip forward to help Isles pick yes, up the Yes, cleanse for Liliot. They're getting perfect gamed. Steamrolling energy. They're getting perfect gamed. One of the most one-sided 10 minutes and 30 Shockwave? seconds oh. okay. of the split. Maybe yeah. even the most. If anything was going to happen to bring it back, it would have been Palafox getting some type of kill on a Jensen here. That's avoided. It's One two side lane uh, turrets. Kero. Both side lanes Kero. completely stopping. Kero. Mid lane has a Energy have a grub. And, they have all the and therefore that means that there's no perfect... The fuck. The Did they get a plate as well? Did they get a plate as well? Bro, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to fuck you up. Me. I'm going to fuck you up. 
So yeah, it's gonna be tough for energy. I feel like at this point, you're almost. Did they get a minion too? Game number one, you have to just start thinking about game number Actually, two. perfect game you know, is they got nothing. Therefore, zero CS, zero, zero plates, bro. Oh, we have a man advantage. You just pull the trigger. I don't care about your fucking grub. Out. But for energy, they're gonna need like five plays like yeah. that in a row to even have a chance of coming back. They're gonna get four grubs. But I don't count grubs to perfect games unless they're above three. Confirmation that it's the largest dig gold lead of the split at eight minutes, which was 2.9k. Okay. We'll get that in 14 four. minutes as well if they keep expanding. Because Spika is in. He's gonna charge into the fight. Pops the crescent guard and blocks a lot of the damage from range. Isles is able to pick up the first kill. Bullet time rips through. Oh, JSQ is undeterred. Spika does fall, but it's a sacrificial lamb for the greater cause of Dignitas's win. Yeah, it is a one for one at the end of the day. The bullet time coming out from FBI got quite a bit of damage. What do you mean, down. okay, noodle nice arms? Can you fuck from off? Palafox snipes one out to get the first kill on the board here, but at the end of the day, still. The HP Bro, Brazil again. Is in the hands of Dignitas. They do have the Senna healing them back up. They're going to push up mid and start taking even more plates. I mean, we are not 14 minutes in. Yeah. They are potentially looking at a full Yumi arms. Later. That's 12 plates a already. 15 plate, huh? In with the two side Jesus, 15 plates in 12 Spika minutes, 30 minutes early, in game one. Felt extra invincible, okay, guys, what is up in the draft? Uh, what if we change everything? I like it. Executed, so he does die. If this was the LCK, they'd say, nah, let's run it back. <laughs> and I see no reason for Dignitas to relent here. Is Ven and Isles should just be camping this mid lane, taking little pokes every time they can. I mean, everyone on Dignitas has a first item power spike. Everyone is so insanely strong. What is if this? If you have any even numbers fight, it's winning. So Dignitas should always feel incentivized to just push the the tempo and the advantage as much as they can and do not give energy Cajal's any tweet got featured on the LCS Isles broadcast. So the Yo, Subway, where is my sandwich? More it's more been half an hour. With that, uh, as we are seeing this engagement <laughs> Shut up. You know, he finding that fight. They do get on the speaker and he gets slept up and then the bull The rats are unleashed today. Nice they are. Yeah, speaker barely getting hit by that last You motherfuckers are unleashed. turned tail completely, he would have been able to keep the team deathless, but that's not a huge Chat, when Speaker joined the league, wasn't he like really good? The Jace, mm -hmm. and it's or he was like classed as like now. the next. You can see Oriana. He just got jailed for a year, right? And then everything just kind of fell off. And as long as they keep wards throughout the jungle here, then the mid lane Sorry, is extremely safe to just keep taking this turret down. It was crazy, no? Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, we will see if they're going to be able to do that. Echo's Pelia is completed. The nine men sleep broken. Rafa, so he's going that more full enchanter style build. You can see he's working on more AP after that. So not going to be going to the Black Cleaver like we saw last week. Yeah. Uh, Black Cleaver was more of a rush item in that <laughs> the game. The nine men sleep is such a good meme. A couple early kills and was just like, hey, I can buy this expensive item. Yeah, I played a few games of this Senna. I'm also Speaker's the intro, the if they ever make the well, finals, should be some kind of like sleep when he gets right announced. Now. Yeah, and in the jungle, really Spika. Played supports for a lot of years, and I played this last time it was meta years ago with the, the kind of AP style build, and it was already pretty strong then. It's yeah. just even way better it's now. Sor it's Soraka with That'll the kind of hard. Like, you, get, <laughs> you get the bonus healing from the Dream Maker. The Echoes of Helia stack so synergistically. It is. You, you cried at Worlds like, that year? None of the numbers themselves well, I'm going to cry at Worlds this year when, it, when EU loses to NA again. Oh, uh, hell it nah. Like, and it's, it's kind of your whole team. So if they if they get into team fights and they stay kind of grouped up with the Cassante and Zin being able to catch all of the Senna Qs, with this gold lead, they will be just unkillable. Contracts was in my yeah, chat this morning. Out so much healing, like you're saying, especially if you do get those pass throughs. 800 is going to make it. Stack, you know, echoes and all this extra stuff. If you have you know, a lot of items. Um, but it definitely can be a ton of healing. And the, Wait, the TV turned off. Oh my well. god. So it is very, very powerful. Um, and, you know, it is something that is going to have to be respected. And I wouldn't be surprised if it, you know, does get banned out later on in the series. But Who's the best honestly, player on an RG chat? This game has not really been about the Senna. Be honest. The Senna has been strong, but everything has gone wrong for him. Yeah, and that is, I think, is the bigger picture for this game so far. When we were coming into the series, we had contracts. About who was going to be more coordinated because the last time mm. we saw them in last week against well, 100 Thieves and FlyQuest respectively. You did kind of have three losing lanes. Mid wasn't that bad. Sync, but Dignitas have been so coordinated in every punch. But he should have been ready for the top dive, but it's kind of hard on Lilia. And I think the worst part for energy is they're the ones that wanted the swap and they're the ones that failed the swap. This yeah. would be, to me, their last True. Effort Swapping and fucking up the swap is... Fight here you ain't swapping for the rest of the series, I can tell you that for a fact. Actually to concede and wait until your items are a little bit closer, but we have to see how they end up playing. Yo, goodnight, Twitch. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a give, honestly. I mean, we'll find out. Someone's got to get up top. What do you mean jungle POV or laner like schedule? Who is pushing up there. No one heading up there just yet. I'm a so good laner. Energy are going to try to force some sort of desperate play. Who he has a pretty good angle to maybe come in from behind. 
But Sven and Niles are playing towards the bottom side. They know yeah. that Hui could be on that top side. And Speak is looking for a potential wraparound. So they could get preempted on the play. Yeah, FBI Wait, might what be are isolated under doing? the tower here. Hui sends it on the Magna Storm, but everyone else is diving FBI under the tower. The tower is also gone. And here comes the collapse of the top laners. But the fight that worked is already wonderfully. losing for NRG. So Dokla has to scram. Did NRG not get anything there? To hold the line against the tier two tower defense. That's crazy. I, I'm Dinkos surprised why they didn't just herald the tower and then and just... Everybody at full health the gold difference was so huge in this fight and actually have no damage too, so it's now even numbers he's dead contract is in trouble, still has flash finally oh he got ulted but he's gonna drowsy oh he w'd it oh nice w by bobby but this is a Cassante. okay a bit deep okay it's enough damage and a bit deep able to stop okay for at least now but Bro. dignitas at almost Poppy is down two 7, levels gold ahead against energy with not even it's rising to see Kalista actually down in xp guys. against mf not even on the table and dignitas are already <laughs> staging into the base yeah the dignitas uh, support their aisles 20 yeah the reason i thought that was weird is i'm just surprised they didn't herald the and the then do the dive because then at least herald will kill the tower while they're diving surprising that is a pretty I enormous guess, amount yeah. of gold it's all play and kill gold basically because mm -hmm. it's definitely not from the cs he gets a little bit from the souls of senna but that's more of a fun fact for how ridiculous this game has become i like the attempt here from he stacks his q on tower to go in, Sven what's a good flash out, by sven he's yeah. going to be able to be okay from this spot but dig no if we are grouped, stunned and hit the wall right? so unlucky everyone from dig comes in collapses they don't underestimate the play they're not spitting off and trying to take top lane tower plus the dragon all that camera angle at the same time and uh even he's even a tap fact, spammer really no i'm a tap oh yeah energy. wait we can click it get a kill is someone like licorice oh my god under the inhibitor tower guardian senna really hmm almost 18 minutes into the game energy are i forgot to you could do this fight back for vision control on this top side of the map before the baron does spawn in the next couple that's minutes. crazy on the back half we saw that dignitas took the second dragon of the game i mean dignitas if they in want a to, production they slow play this game out as their champion scale further and further into the game but i mean this this looks almost how did you do that for energy to come back from it's i'm just uh on dignitas i'm just a magician what can i say yeah. at this point Click I, on the scoreboard. So, like, yeah, I know it. I know this it. This is honestly the time where energy needs to preserve their mental as much as possible. They'll try and keep making plays. Yeah, preserve get a few mental. Nice looks. Not necessarily expect to win the fight. I kind of more just. Yeah, bro. LEC needs to get this you know, ASAP. That's a cool. It's cool. From here throughout the rest of the series. I mean, one thing I will say. Yeah, CB Lol has it right. Positive for Palafox is that he is playing well. Maybe I'm crazy, but Palafox surely it's just a, a Twitch extension, right? That's it. Having some struggles here, you know, this split in the LCS. Surely uh, it's just a Twitch extension, right? <laughs> bad games last year. He was their rock. He was the guy that was always performing, and he's been pretty, been pretty vocal about how he's disappointed with his own play, about how things have been looking. So getting Palafox, you know, back to that level in this mid lane matchup. Is going to be really, really Yeah, good. I'm hyped for tomorrow's side, series. Jensen, 100 Thieves versus TL. Back on comfort, also playing well. I'm convinced TL's that losing that. Even tougher for Palfox. And the mid lane matchup even in this game... How can I use that Twitch extension if I watch you? Players you can't. Defaulted back to things they had massive Just tell me what to click on. ...in the past. When Palafox made his run through summer playoffs, as there's some contesting of this red buff, he was the master of the Jace Tristana matchup. He yep. win both sides of it. So finding windows where he can play those champions, where he found his most success on, I think would be something to build off of throughout the series because it does also feel like energy is kind of throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. Can like, we see their cooldowns? The I don't think good, I can see their cooldowns. The poppy is a huge no, miss. The lane swap is a huge miss. Uh, not having Senna priority figured out in the right way from last week to this week and then letting Dig first It would be cool to see their cooldowns, but it would need to be a lot smaller. I think smaller. the question, though, is, is it, you know, a failure of idea or is it a fail of execution? Because to me, it's more of a failure of execution. I call I it now, TL dominates NA, wins the split, and goes 0-3 at Worlds. With the draft, sure. But the way that they executed <laughs> on it, obviously, I doubt that, went really, really bad. Their bot laner, you know, they're, well... Dove that sounds like something G2 laner, would do. Got mm. dove, while Licorice is farming all the experience, not getting pushed off at all. You know, that just can't happen in these kind of situations. You know, generally that alone is You know, maybe to, they would, like, dominate the scrims or some uh, shit, and everyone would say G2 is looking scary, yours. and then they'll get 3 0 That sounds worse, G2 to me. They tried this three-man dive, they got TP'd on. Not only did they fail the dive, they got killed. So... It's, it's really, really tough in those situations to have a kind of unemotional read on what the problem was in a game like this where everything failed. Yeah. 
Because like you said, it's not See, like fly quests on Sunday. Yeah, I, I saw it as well. All those moves in the early game, there were counter punches to things that energy did not execute cleanly. The counter punches were unfortunately to their own face. <laughs> Jane's damage they, is they pretty strong here. Because of, oh, he missed QE. Uppercut straight to yourself. Uh, Jensen is forced to flash away. Maybe we'll see here. this advantage He's from Kyle Bosch, but now it's double teleport oh. from both teams. Oh my god, that Archangel the shield is crazy. Kyle's global ultimate gives Jensen a big shield. Pal Fox and FBI oh, now have the man advantage With the Senna ult layer, yeah, it was big. You want to go Baron? guys kill Oriana and go Nash oh if they can kill this Oriana flash 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 Dokla oh god thank you and stops Jensen in his they have to go Baron okay, that's, that's a, a mental victory there I say you flip Baron just go flip for it, it. No, there's yeah, no have to. reason not to at this point you are so far down just YOLO it on the Baron hope that you can get a kill yeah, take hope Grump. that you can yeah. make oh, something happen you're committed so much to that play though it is going to be tough there is Ironic. no it's way Dig is going to throw this game dead. neither of them have TP this is actually a window back let's see if Sven, Isles and Spica can hold themselves what is, what is NRG yeah, doing what is Jace doing but it's a five on three. oh the Sen has one tap they have cut it though Eliminate the jungler. Eliminate they don't think they have the, the damage for the objective. The side of A kill, Vanden sure. Oh my god, Jace, Jace, Jace. The moment, but they keep the range, and it might be that I think they no should have committed to a full yeah, send on the Baron. It's not like they can get poked down. So annoying here. Almost has 100 souls, by the way. So that's why that range is getting ridiculous. Yes, mm. they did have a good turn on a speaker. Yes, they did have that kill. And it is a bit of a... I think they should have full sent to Baron. If they, they should know there's no double TP up. The mid laner, the top Kassante laner responded. TP'd in. And Oriana got cancelled on the TP out. So they're dead with no TPs. Again, he really was the lone positive force in the early game here. And again, here's here's him making... They should have just full yeah, sent to Baron, the I think. The thing that actually wins this is the fact that the Lilia and the Rel beat the rest I know that damage is bad, but Jace just needs to hit. The way Jace was standing was Pit is here. Jace is here trying to poke. He should just be here. But and if they walk Dig up, they were so Rel can zone ahead, them maybe, or they can they flash kill on Lilia sleep the and then back to Nash. Open. That is a big mistake actually for Dignitas. Could have been a lot worse if we think about the Baron actually going over if the objective bounty could have been converted. But as of now, it's still very heavily in the favor of Dig. That was a that was a pretty big window though. Yeah, because it's like what you guys said about 10, 15 minutes ago. I mean, energy would have to get five miracle winning fights in a row to shore up the gold deficit that they have against Dignitas right now. Yeah, I mean, Palafox though, still deathless. Contract's deathless as well. Winnable for NRG, Pulse Champ. That play happen was big, so they haven't given up in this one just yet, but Dignitas is moving themselves to Soul Point, which is going to be difficult when you're behind and they get Mountain <laughs> Soul. It always feels that much harder. I love the Dignitas face emote, by the way. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is an S tier emote right there. I mean, Dignitas have a really well, we'll good Baron. Can maintain their form there is a bit of annoying poke. Like, like Chase poke okay. is annoying, yes, but the MF ult will stop Baron <laughs> instantly. Fights. Energy. A little bit of confidence boost knowing that Dignitas is not completely immortal and they can punish some of these mistakes that Dignitas make when they're overextending on the side lanes here. MF ult should stop no Baron instantly. From the solo laners of Dignitas for a few more, at least under a minute. Do you know what Senna is, chat? Did anyone play right World of Warcraft? Wrath of the Lich King? Do you know Holy Paladins? From who he find that with Holy Shock and Flash of Light proc if they crit? From from That's exactly what Senna is. Disgusting. Her Q is just, it's just, it's just, it's just Holy Shock. Then Hammer of Justice is her W. Her E is Bop, kinda. But if you ignored and the then her ult is like uh, the last 12 minutes have I don't know. <laughs> I, true. I didn't think that far. <laughs> just a shame that uh, energy is missing an arm and a leg from the first 12 minutes. This is true. It harder. This is true. It makes these effective 12 minutes yeah. not as effective. They are making Dignitas earn it from a spot where it felt like the game was going to be free. Yeah. Which I mean, is actually something they should be able to mentally build off of if they go to the next game. That's kind of the, the beauty and the curse of, of MOBAs, right? Is that... Bro, what do you mean, bro a needs a meal? Game, he doesn't. The do. opponents get stronger, so it just gets harder yeah. and harder and harder. So, you know, a good play later that would, at parity, win you the game does not do so. So, right you know that's the challenge is that oh. the early game can really make things incredibly difficult for you yeah god this mf does look useless so doesn't she windows, like you said, Jet, she does look useless confidence that you need to try and maintain bt into such a long series like this one, mortal reminder a best of five no longer than Ow. Best of three from the regular season and now dignitas are going to try to start this baron up there was a TP ping behind Jensen, but then they moved that control ward, so it's not a flank. So MF ult should stop Baron. That this Baron has been pretty handily. Though. There's just no reason to flip. I think FBI needs to come around though. Surely they're gonna try to turn. Maybe 
Are they just flipping Baron? Am I high? Oh my god, they got it. Contracts might have had it, but now the jungler for energy is gone, and it's a five on four in the map for I mean, that was They just, flip. Yeah, they, they just went for it. You it was just a complete rent. flip. How many times have we seen that fail over the years? I'm really surprised they committed to it. I thought, if anything, maybe Liquor's was Absolute flash flip. Wall and then all out to push Contracts further away. And, and <laughs> right. Energy that stole that. That'll be but huge. Putting Contracts into the pit is one they of have the only ways Energy could hope to come back. True. So Dig, yeah. True. You're right. It does work Kalista. out for them, though. And now, with the Baron buff and a massive gold lead, they're going to knock think down it's, all yeah, of these I guess it is, towers. It is slightly reliable. This gold lead. I mean, law of averages. If I mean, what I would much prefer is if Cassante can just flash out of the pit and ult the Galilia and then just finish. That, uh, this I would much prefer that. Yeah. 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 I would much prefer Cassante here, just have a ward what over and just flash with Lilia. They, they just let contracts Oof, it was so close. What was the number there? Yep. He, and he's, aside from X Smithy, stolen the most barons of any player in LCS history. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Liquor's was playing to the wall, so maybe he thought he could like find an angle to like get vision on him and and stop him before he could get the smite. But then they needed to stop damage on the Baron and let him come in, then all out him back over the wall. Like there needed to be let something him cook. Uh, there from Licorice for sure, uh, and from Dig to be able to prevent that. But at the end of the day, it did not end up happening. They are massively ahead, 10K, looking for the last outer tower here now as they do push in Smithy is through the bot lane and look to try to put the finishing touches on this game. Are you a showmaker or a plinker? Uh, I'm a showmaker. Into the tier two tower. Speaker will join them. Licorice is joining from the other side as he's actually. We're in a TP in to make sure they're safe. Yeah. Or Jensen, I should say, is now Dignitas. After the tier two turret, they back off, wait for the next minion wave while Energy tries to deal with Licorice, who's also pushing in through the mid lane. Yeah, Licorice has played a really strong game after getting that early advantage. Uh, hasn't let his experience advantage decline, which can be a trap that a lot of top laners fall into when they are very far ahead. They oftentimes will overgroup because it seems easy, but he's very strong at applying the side pressure and he's actually just letting them break these turrets. This might be the look for energy. Watch who he... Good flash oh, nice by Jensen. Flash, though, by Jensen Old man still got hands. Ooh, the sleep's big here, though. Does he have stopwatch, Jensen? So okay, no never mind. That shield is... is to get into the of all four absolutely members, massive. Shockwave's big. Big shockwave from Jensen. Cassante is Cassante. Yeah, GG. And Licorice here for the GG. cleanup. He's got the broom. And he's sweeping them all under the GG. floor. A double kill for the top laner of Dignitas. Big and win. this game is finally over. I mean, the second leg of the Baron, the game was done. But, um, Push on the yeah, great early game from, from Dignitas. They got swapped on. Played with confidence, pulled off the bot dive. Licorice called their bluff on top. Worked out really well. And Dignitas will move ahead. I still haven't gotten my 20k gold lead though. Very strong opening game here for oh, my 20k gold lead now. A recovery from their now. atrocious week they had last week against 100 Thieves. I would say though, now. this game was all about the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Successful dives. Yeah, I agree. The first 10 minutes were defenses, super exciting. Early game we've seen from Dignitas all season. So, Chat. all signs do. Is Senna OP as fuck? Being what website do you use to check pro solo queue accounts? Uh, I use dpm.lol. You just go like eSport. <laughs> and then you can see any region, right? If I want to see right, well, Dignitas's Sven. Also type in Sven, I guess. Over, I can see what he's been playing. Handy. Your spot. With that, we're gonna head on over to the LCS lounge handy, handy, handy. Very handy. Yep. Welcome back, where yep, yep, we're yep. still talking about lane swaps and where I'm going to flip my prediction Boo. after day <laughs> You flip I can't, I can't tell whether you guys are booing that I love or, Kobe. or the lane swap. I love Kobe. Bro, guess why are you just sitting in the chat saying what? mention right. of Pedro eating and just saying no, eat now? We're going to start at a minute is 30. That is a... This is the last time things are going to look good What is energy, raging right? wolf helm? Because they're actually the ones calling for this swap. We're going to have Jokla come. Yo, SCA gang, mid. you got to go to bed. What time is it in SCA? This is, right? So they pushed Jensen back. It's 4.30 a.m. Go to bed. Speed Go to sleep. To about 2.44. Where we're looking at speaker. They're right? fucking in so bed with their phone. He skips the camp spot side, sets up. Most importantly, Bro, just go to Dokla bed. Is level one still. And Licorice is already level two. So he's soaking up all this XP. We've talked again about how important it is to try to get your top laner ahead in these situations. All meals well, lead to Sally. They do. Energy were the ones that actually initiated all this. All meals swap, right? do lead to Dokla Sally. Is all the way back. I wasn't the Reddit. I'm going to look. Zoned off of this entirely almost. 
and then they are going to have a Someone really comes into the chat the first time messages you're not my real mother in, is Bro, not able I swear. to get uh, the level two in time ends up dying right here so on the swap back we're gonna fast forward again to did my editor uh, misspell uh, elimination uh, series on the youtube here. video um so we've swapped back now he did. and NRG are oh looking my God. for a dive on bot side right they t uh, Dignitas are able to TP Jensen in, respond to Elimin this completely, um, and then they Elimin get another El kill. Elimination. This time onto All right, well, FBI. now we're he's gonna fired go for ahead that one. To six thirty. I'm kidding. About here. I'm kidding. Uh, so we're gonna watch NRG's recalls across the board. So we're yo, William, with another twenty-five gifted. Uh, MF has recalled. So now NRG's bot lane are going. Top side. Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Yo, chat a man if you got a, if you got a. Not only while this is happening, so Dopa if you got a sub, say thank you. Say thank you. And thank on you, this top side, FBI is all the way back here. Twitch chat talking about the game. They're going to be able to get two kills off of this entire thing. At this point, this is way out of NRG's control. And we had talked previously about how Dignitas have not Thank responded you, as well to swap what are you talking about they talking this about the swaps probably the best i've seen them be able to actually respond to i think dick played the swap uh, well but i also think nrg was fucking week, clueless on the swap oh my god it was disgusting kind of them in, in a lot of these situations like, they would make mistakes it was crazy so, really tough look for nrg and this... that's kind of where the game de was decided right because even with the little flub crazy in the, bad in the top lane where they did get that catch on to jensen what are we eating um, a yogurt Ooh, yogurt what flavor yo show the flavor I mean, cameraman this was absolutely abysmal speaker looks like he's about to cry so the best yo. recommendation for them is delete this from your memory focus on game number two <laughs> uh, i mean don't repeat the mistakes that you've made so d don't completely delete it but do not focus on that at all they have to recenter there you go dokla's recentering already yeah it's fine uh, I mean, next game, a brand new game. Because this one, by like seven minutes, I yeah. already knew, you, you know, you have a, such a low chance to win this game. You are Check the Reddit. Let me have a look. Massive one view on me in chess. Very okay, go. Event. Link it. But I, for one, am going to stick link with it. my prediction. Uh, I am my not. My 3-0 energy prediction. Link it. Link it. I'm, I'm not going swapping. to 3-0 dig now. This Actually, is, oh I, my God. I, clearly based on vibes. Put it's 1 plus 1. Let's go. This is the first flip-flop I'm a bit tired, though. You Get your shoes yeah. off the couch. I'm a bit tired, though. No. Get your shoes. I sit there. That's my spot. Well, I, guess what? Wait. <laughs> look at someone that. clicked it before me. Oh, my God. It's not even me. You're disrespecting Tibbers, man. I've always been I was spectating. Yeah, <laughs> Tibbers at least once a... Once a who, who in the chat took my position? Now, now yeah, I know Alf. Now I know why our couch is so dirty. Yo, Zaza, <laughs> enjoy it. DM it to me. <laughs> Shoes Don't put that on me. I hardly sit on this thing. But no, like... All right, let's it's go. It's rough. And I would say from Dignitas' side, let's we go. talked about how good their uh, swaps have been. That's a clear improvement. They've also talked about in interviews, uh, Licorice specifically with the anime... Pro go! Anime go! Podcast, how basically... They've been focusing and working, and mm -hmm. they needed to work on their practice. Uh, and it's looked like it's gotten considerably better. Yeah, this was a little bit better. Dig 3-0 now. I'm Yo, calling it come? now. As we head to break, uh, listen to this week's LCS Connected comms replay presented by AT&T and voted on by chat. Energy 3-0. Can't happen. Yeah, we could dive here, okay? We could just yeah, watch this. Yeah, 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 top tower. Okay, we're, we're, okay. I'm diving sure. mid here. I'm diving mid here if they go. Okay. Just watch if Jace moves this way, though. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Hit, hit, hit tower, hit tower, hit tower, hit tower. Poppy can be there. Poppy hit tower, hit there. tower. I'm TPing, I'm TPing. Hit tower, hit tower. Ulting? Yep. I flashed out. We win here, we win here. EM4. Look, Poppy, still. Poppy. I ult still. I still have ulti, okay? I, uh, yeah, low, low. Keep going if you can. Yeah, I'm nothing. Yeah. I'm nothing. He, he might get snared. He's snared. It's all you guys. Nothing, nothing, right. nothing. I have ulti if you walk Do I hero for the inhib or no? Is that too much? No, I think I have ulti. I think just. Oh, we just did. I don't care. You can drive You can drive if he wants up. I might knock up. Knock him up. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Yeah, it's fine. I'm chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Q and five. Q and five. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Come on, you, Eric. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe look still. No, it's nothing. I'm trolling. I'm diving. I got my maybe. I think I'm TPing. I think I'm It looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Hitting Lilio. Yeah. Lilio has. Yeah. They have every spell. Every spell. What do they have? Every spell. Every spell. Double flash. I'm wasting time. Yeah, I'm looking here. If you can reach. MF. Okay, I'm QW in one. Yeah. Can nice. Take, 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 take. nice, nice. Jace can come now, okay? Jace will move down. What the fuck? I'm trolling. Yeah. 
Ah! If you guys can swap, it's like pretty fucking good too. Oh yeah, yeah. I can swap right now. Like legit, can. legit, yeah, it's yeah, fucking great here. Next way, maybe so. Okay, maybe, I'm too tired. Next way, maybe it's not that great. Jace might come back. I think it's still fine. Jace could be a pedal. I mean, uh, <laughs> Jace could be a what? That's fine. Just go lane. Just go lane. We what did he just say? Yeah. I mean, I'm just far ahead of this guy. Yeah. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Wait, my brain just got yeah. absolutely. Jace could be a what? Red Bull gives you wings. Jace could be a. Eh? Hello? Bro, what are you parking? <laughs> Seriously? What is that? Remote smart parking assist. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I, I completely lost focus when I just heard something. My brain is like. Huh? You can't park anywhere. Dude, why'd you put your new rig in the basement? Didn't you hear? Bill's a good millionaire now. Basically, can someone link me the clip? Can someone link me the clip? We've got gamer rocker, gamer floaty, gamer couch. Wow. It's got wheels. Gamer bench, gamer throne. Your ADHD kicked in. It did. What's that? It is. Da 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 da. Oh well, we won't look at it too much. We won't look at it too much, chat. Almost a slip of the tongue, I think. A slip of the tongue. Chat, someone play Connect 4 against me. Someone play Connect 4 while we're waiting. I'm gonna show you the link, okay? There's the link. Don't play against me. Come. Come. Am I against the Connect 4 Pro? I'm so locked in, it's crazy. Guys, so boosted. Next. Yeah, every spell. Double MF. flash. Yeah, I'm looking here. I'm looking here. If you can reach. Next. MF. Okay, Go. Left QW and one. Yeah. Okay, nice. Take, take, take. I'm nice. Dropping now. Dropping nice. now. Dropping now. I'm 1-0 versus Chatter. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all you. Wait, seven. Five, five, Is six, this five, the comms five, again? Wait, wait. I'm taking one more. Yeah. Out. Okay, guys. Nice. Get out, right? Yeah. I'm Deep sorry. To, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on Zen. Yeah. The target on the right. Hitting Zen. Yeah. Try to hit Zen. No ulti on Ori again. No way. Then it's an inside joke in Dig. No, <laughs> what, to call the enemy laner a PDF? Hit out, hit out. Ulting? Yep. I flashed out. We win here, we win here. EM4. Love I Poppy, Poppy. Still. Still. <laughs> what? I still have ulti, okay? I, yeah, low, low. Keep going if you can. Yeah, I'm nothing. Yeah. I'm nothing. He, he might get snared. He's snared. It's all you guys. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I have ulti if you want. Right. Ori flash? No, right? Don't flash Ori. Ori don't flash Ori. Look, 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 look. I'm looking at Zinzi. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, I'm looking at Jesus. That's... That's okay, it, that's, 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 that's as long as your team right, knows what you mean. Clear out, clear out on the left, on the left. I will still ulting. Yeah. Big shield. I'm coming behind. Yeah, we can wait. Hard rain, hard raining, hard raining. They cut it out. Yeah, I'm behind now. Look at me. Yeah. Hey, do I can shield you. Good here. Uh, it's just bank. It's just bank, I think. It's just banged. Nice drop, guys. My champ is really balanced. Your champ is really balanced. We kind of fizzed them early, you know? Big Dokes is just vegan, no? Yeah. Vegan. They have so many little words for certain things, don't they? Please drop new merch. Yeah, I saw you made merch for us. Now, what do you think of this merch? Hold up. What's the bigger crime in a Where is it? Then? Taking sauce is highly illegal in ARAM. Not taking flash and snowball is just like... You're not even playing for fun at that point. I think taking True. exhaust. You're not allowed to take exhaust. You have to take flash and the snowball. No matter what champion you're playing, guys. Exhaust True. for sure. It's the it's unspoken rule of Aram. Being the person to end the game, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, you're just cringe if you do that. 
That's the ending of the game is. I'm as alive as Cajal's plant. Dead it. rip. It's what the fuck is this? Everyone's just playing until this ends again. I work game. hard so my favorite streamer Plan can eat five times well. a day. Play one more. All right, should I'm gonna run ads if you want to. Okay. Exhaust. Taking exhaust is a complete crime. Oh, taking exhaust, of course. Winning is winning. Taking exhaust. All right, give me the next draft. Stat. Welcome back, Welcome back to, to the. Oh LPS my God, where Echo. We're going to see. If All right, what's NRG gonna adapt? Can kind of fight back against <clears throat> Let's see a good draft. That, that was a pretty crushing loss. I actually don't necessarily think it was like draft dependent, right? I think more, Not at all. especially on the lines that we've been Sante talking about NRG, it was much more about execution. Against Licorice? I'd say okay. 100% execution. They can not do that again, so let's get into it and see if they actually do make some draft changes as well, though. Ivern first pick is just the Cassante, best in LCS or what? Number one, first draft change right there. Yeah, the big one. Get, get rid of that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's pretty good. They're so like, ah, we can't dive Hard him. to dive a Cassante. <laughs> that was probably the toughest one, is that, like, if you have both Senna and Callista and as in Zhao, my god, your Ivern merchants dying level one, but Cassante, once he hits level two, and Nidalee he's blue side, Ben. They felt like it was really Is Spica a good Nidalee? He's just sitting there. So... Yeah, uh, that's a decent change. I'm interested in whether or not Sen is going to be allowed through again because I didn't expect Sen to be even available for a mm -hmm. first pick. A lot of the pro no! players going into this week had believed both Azir wow, and Senna Rito were game. the strongest picks. At least definitely don't ban Senna on blue side. Yes. How yeah. trash do you find my region? Okay, I think the your region's not bad. Seraphine ban coming through. Which is interesting. I know that Seraphine was a pick into... I'm guessing last ban um, is Senna here, right? Uh, it's just Enchanter uh, bands, isn't it? So mm -hmm. maybe they're expecting if they're gonna... It is just Enchanter bands. They're picking a Brahm, they're Ivern picking ban, Seraphine ban, Senna ban, yeah. Seraphine to be the yep. response. And, so what's the uh, first pick in NA? Normally you'd see something like Ash here. I wonder if or Rumble. For something like an or Ash. Renekton. Mm -hmm. uh, first pick. This would be very standard. They, they've already... And then if they first pick something like Ash, uh, but then, then you would see something like Rennington Maokai. Or, 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 you know, something along those lines. Rumble first pick. All right, surely they take Ash, right? So they keep going back to the Rumble again, even though they I think maybe they need to think about Vi. Oh, we are going with here. Jesus. Uh, Is it time for Palafox, Nessus, mid into Azir? Hey. Or are they just going to go Corky? Plus the Azir pick that we keep talking about the buffs on this patch. Yeah, and I like this from Dig a lot, right? You secure the Ash, you secure... I like uh, Nessus spin into his ear. ear. Again, we talked about how go much Corky. this patch right. has changed, uh, how much better uh, specific mages are. Oh, I'd love an AD Azir, pick here then if they're going to do that. Something like Corky Jin is not bad with Rumble. Before the 14, Especially considering Maokai's open, right? You can drop um, jungle, you have Maokai, Palafox you have things like maybe Vi, you have so. Brand. Ye old classic. Yeah. You have Zyra. Straight back. I got it. Said you want just depends what you pick. Right now, guys. <laughs> yeah. if they're smart uh, here, yeah. NRG. They will pick Jin. This exact Jin Rumble, very many, powerful. Many, 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 and there's many four junglers already. they can drop. Well, what's going to make you inspired? What? what or yeah. Rel, what, maybe. What could work. In the, in the waiting room, I threw out some kind Jin, of Jin, very nice. I actually expect him to do that. Not frequently played right now. Good stuff by NRG. You know, hard engage with Nocturne, with Camille, something like that. True. But I don't even need that much, you know? Even as something like. Very good stuff. I mean, I guess the Cassante ban really hurts small, here. It stops uh, Rumble. Uh, like it makes Rumble for, quite strong. Uh, and well, if you I'm drop top, what do you play? So yeah. how do you feel about what do you play into Rumble if you're licorice? Plus Rumble. So we Skarner. need some more frontline for energy, some engage, mm. somebody to keep them in place for this Rumble ultimate. That's if rough. If they actually want to get mm -hmm. value out of it. So for four five here, NRG is really easy. Their draft is straightforward. They play Sejuani, Maokai, Brand. Zyra, is it, is it plus top? Rel, it Alistar, is licorice, so licorice is this, like, love affair Very with fine. So it, it is okay, disproportionately ben. higher a top lane Skarner yeah. on Dignitas than any other it's team. It's Skarner jungle, is it? I would say any other team in the freaking world right now. sure it's not Skarner top? Um, the other ones are more likely to play jungle, but Licorice himself, he really does uh, have a lot of faith in this champ, even though it's not the best lane phase into Rumble. You just provide so much frontline utility for your team. And this Zinzal is the ben. recipe for Dignitas, is set yourselves up with a nice team fight, have some really sturdy, you know, The problem is you can't ban out here. You can't ban them out on 4-5. They're going to get jungle think, support uh, easy. It's also worth noting, it was against NRG that Licorice played the Skarner starter, top jungle. Hmm. Leona ban. Um, the Zinjao taken out. Leona needed to be banned. Yeah. Like Leona, 
Great Why are they betting Yona? Yeah, Jen doesn't have a lot of great pairings. Braum sounds like an awful pairing in general, even if it's double AD carry. And also, and also you're going up against Azir to begin with. They're going to be the ones banning uh, the Braum away from Dignitas' side. So now if you're on RG side and you're thinking about another, like a front line. They want Rel. Do it for you, perhaps Rel could be the pick for how much who he has been, uh, uh, you know, performing on the pick. And it does set up for a Rumble ulti. So expect that to be the option here. Uh, the four pick here is hard. Yeah. I think they have to go Sedge. I was say, oh, Maokai would be great set up, but no. Vi is awful. Uh, from awful Zulkin. champ. The Vi is here. up. Um, Unless you're playing Skarner support, Kennen on five. In, That's so disgusting. I, I really Ash, like Vi, Skarner. Bringing out on, in this right side on, a, on a scale Oof. of hard engage to no engage, Dignitas. It's a denial a pick. It's not. <laughs> The denial pick like would be Sejuani. I think Sejuani's... I don't like Rumble Sejuani with Jin Cork, it's not bad. Sejuani, Zyra, Brand. I think it doesn't matter what they... They can't deny. They're all good. draft right now, personally. So, great draft from Dig. Sejuani is a good option when you wanted frontline from NRG. The fourth one... Oh. Bard is terrible. My heart is telling me Rel. I'm interested in what they're actually going to show us here. Pick Rel. Yeah, I do think uh, just generally on the whole, historically. Pick Rel, please Sejuani's don't pick Bard. Really why, pick why, contacts. why, Maybe why, why? No, don't pick Wizards. Karma, please. Just pick um, Rel. Go flash WR and just let I Rumble mean, so ult someone, please, 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 energy, please, energy, please. Pick an engage energy, support. They invest really early oh my draft God. resources, this Rumble, into this top lane to be to be winning why? top lane. Why? Why? But are why? you going to win the He's game? He's laughing as well. He's laughing. Saying, no, you Picks are a range support with Rumble and then left. Oh my God, I'll be so mad. Buffs, as you said, you need into, you need Rel. into Dokla and especially Nautilus into the Rumble here. and lose a few CS top Is who he a, a bard main? Ash arrow, is he like carry level bard? Vi engage as well. It's just and you throw a Nautilus. He hasn't played bard once it. this bit. It's comical. Yo. how many options they have? It's like Dignitas can throw out two of their ultimates and they will still have plenty. He hasn't of played bard once this to year to to force these team fights. So. The only real question is, will they have... He didn't play it this year or last year. And as long as Jensen has a decent or lane Or the phase, year before. Then, uh, then they should, but that's... The or the year question. before that. Yeah, I think that is, that is the big thing, right? It was it's, season, it's so season 10 when he played Bard. I feel like what? have a lot of answers to what NRG has locked in. We will no see Bard. what the casters think as we get no into No Bard. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emily. <laughs> no <And> bot. <laughs> listen, we saw the Doklo Rumble first no pick bot. lock in, and Jat listen, has some things to say. It just, they are tripling, quadrupling. I don't know what the word for seven things in a row is down on this Rumble, <laughs> because they there was a point in the season where Energy picked Rumble five games in a row and lost all of them. Is he then protesting? they did it again in their elimination game against FlyQuest and lost. It is Dokla's most played champion this split, and they are winless with it. And then in this series, they first pick it for top lane, give away priority picks in Azir and Ash in mid and bot, which put those lanes at a disadvantage. They are so locked into making this rumble work, and if it doesn't work, their season is going to be over. That's rough. That, that is very And it could rough. work. It is a globally very high presence champion, 80% presence, 65% win rate. It has not worked for them at all. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those things where you have Oof. to think it's working for them in scrims, right? Yeah. Otherwise, they just wouldn't keep Oof. going back to it. Or maybe they're looking at those games and saying, I mean, you know Jin Bard is really good together. Jin Corky Bard is good. It's hard to know, but for whatever reason, it is Bard not working Rumble at Rumble is, all for is, them. It's not uh, the best. The, the Rumble on the match history for sure. We'll see if they can turn it around. Because Dig also has, uh, I think, a pretty tough comp to play Rumble into. There is a tremendous amount of CC. Yeah. Well, on the sidelines, we do have Raz uh, with an interview with Thinkguard. Raz. What's up? That is right. I got Thinkguard here. Just coming off of last game. Uh, just any assessment off the last game, large advantage Dignitas had with the lane swap, and also just any uh, learnings you had from it? I mean, I'm not sure. Against FlyQuest, we also kind of, our brains didn't really Beans work game one either, so good news is against FlyQuest, we bounced back in one game too, so it is something that we've done before, so it just, it's unfortunate that in game one, we never really got to play. That's fair enough, and... Uh, just looking at your composition now, we have both the Rumble and the Bard pickups, really interesting one, and also just kind of comment on what we're seeing right now just from your team, both Dokla and Contracts looking through mid. Yeah, so 
the Bard is something that you can kind of play with these types of compositions because once you're showing Vi, you have a lot of hard engage, and Bard is very good at disrupting that type of follow-up. So a lot of teams do play Bard in these situations. It's going to come down to whether we can use our mobility and the fact that we have such long-range tools to really punish them like between objectives and on midwaves. I appreciate you. Thank you for that one. I'll send it straight, straight to, the, to the casters. Thank you, guys. I like how Think Hard dodged the other question from Raz of like, hey, what are contracts and Dokla doing here? So the Bard is, you know, looking for disrupting the backline engage. To be fair, they were both uh, questions Why? in the same Why? phrase. But for yeah. Tignitas, Why? Why? Hit him with the double question. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Bard ult file. Exactly. Why? Why? Yeah. And I mean, just, just go in. Day, we saw what it was. It was just that leash. Just go uh, in. Dokla. Pick Rel and just go in. They were unsure Jin's shooting them from a mile away. Potentially, yeah. so he was kind of just sitting around. If Corky gets violated. He's gonna um, bring and, Vi and all the way into the backline. So <laughs> w flash into the backline. Let's fuck up Vi. So we'll see if he's gonna be able Vi to doesn't sort of really have any up follow up this game. Push on Jensen here early on. There's no Zigzult. There's no Rumble. Ult. There's no Cannon. Vi doesn't really have that much to work with. There's no Telia. There's no Ari. There's. You can kind of just go random and click any of the damage runes, and it's fine. It's a bit of a dealer's choice. I will say the early game is already much better than it was in game one for energy. Uh, nobody's died yet. There's been no failed die. You're not wrong, but that's <laughs> I like also how very that's the, the standard. But no one has died yet. <laughs> on top of this, they actually have three lanes of prior, which is allowing the Sejuani to invade Speaker's Vi. And it looks like there was a smite fight over the blue buff that Contracts didn't get, but they still hold this prior. So Contracts, Contracts has smite. is going to try and steal this wolf away. And maybe even Contracts uh, a is psychopath. Well. The smite down on the wolf camp. Contracts. He's invading a Vi with red buff advantage. Skirmishing, but Spica using that blast shield. He has that much bot push. Alive. Yeah, and that's the thing is, is when you have Pryo, even if they win the, the the first smite fight on that defense, you just follow them to the next camp, yeah. right? And he still has his smite. So yes, he got the smite on the first camp. Contracts just holds his smite, pushes him out of his own jungle. Maybe Spica could win that one v one in an extended play because once. You know, Sejuani uses the upfront damage, you kind of have nothing, but it doesn't matter because Bard is coming, because FBI is coming. It's never going to be that fair fight. And they've already warded this bot crab while holding Pryo in top and mid. So I don't know if Contracts is going to contest this since yeah, he does have all three camps bot to clear, crab but and they have complete clear top eyes on Spika now as he tries to secure this crab and only having what looks they checked like his Grump as well, and they know his Grump is yeah, up, which is really nice. He might try a mid gank like, yeah, here, but it's not going to work. Through another um, ward, you know, unless he tries to go top. A top, if he goes top gank. It's actually way worse for him because he's oh, fully Oh god, this out. is so horrible. Dokla should just be able to back off and waste even more of his this time. This is horrendous. Dokla knows yeah. that he is here. If he dies to this, this is Wait. inexcusable. I mean, the Q lands on the Dokla. He's rumble, got help with Hoogie arriving, and they rumble, turn the game rumble. around, <laughs> throwing up the white flag emo first blood. Yeah, really well done. So he tries to bait it in. Who he's making the he roll just got up. one so shot. Dokla felt confident that he could survive the initial play. They oh yeah, who he's playing the T1 bard happening. skin. You haven't heard the Yarek sponge. Who has the summoner heal as well? Oh, he's in January. Dokla okay, fuck alive. you. Drops the little Coco there as well. They are able to get first, but unfortunately, now he's going to cover bots while bards top. Sucks, but still nicely done. And Andrax. Andrax is here on the bottom side of the map, knowing Ooh, that maybe Sven the flash wasn't really needed. But go for the two v one all in on the FBI. It's a trade of flashes for the jungler versus the AD carry. Such a smooth early game so far from Energy, playing the Pryo into the top gank, into the cover bot lane, and just winning these small trades. Then, Whee. that was close. Millimeters. You probably could have traded flashes for sure there with Jensen, because if you flash, Jensen basically has to flash that. If you get bound, you're dead. Yep. Um, but Alex not to do so, was probably hoping that he could get the flash without having to If Genji lose own. back to back, yeah, they still go to regionals. Nice and active on the map. And you just Doesn't matter, Genji's locked worlds, they won MSI. Really Winner of MSI locks worlds. The where they're going to be weak on the map, who he goes top to cover. So then as you said, Contract's going to go bot to actually cover there because that's where the natural counterplay will come in. So this is very well played here so far by Energy and they're out to a 1,000 gold lead here, only five minutes in. So the shoe on the other foot for sure in this one. And now we ask the question again. Since Dignitas had their best early game in game one, as a result of energy mis-executing a lot of those moves in the early game, what does Dignitas do now when energy is actually executing correctly? And this has been one of the Achilles heels of Dignitas. <laughs> How does T1 get the world? Someone says a plane. <laughs> of who is the playmaker? Why do I find who that is funny? supposed to create action on this team? I'd say compositionally, it's the CC that lands from the bottom lane, and they're the best lane to potentially play through. Random jokes make me laugh. 
and then Spica, because he's been set behind, needs to hit level. You know what surprises me this game? So it's a bit of a tricky Sven here. doesn't have cleanse. How is Rumble bot? Who invited bro? With the equalizer, will burn Isles to a crisp, and Sven is forced he's off of the fight. He's in a TP top now. Bailing out oh my god. This was actually a really surprising roam there from Dokla. He just headed straight bot, used that prior top to run down here. It did get pretty dicey, but at the end of the day, they do get the you kill. You can zone away and Ashen and TP top in this Sven push. Because Ven used his barrier, used his flash. He cannot catch this wave whatsoever. So then Dokla just TPs back up towards top. Yeah. And Spika warded out, so won't be able to get anything. So this is really well done here by Dokla. You know, doesn't get that extra kill that maybe he would have wanted. But just holds the TP, walks bot, uses that prio, TP's this back chat top, is carrying your stream. Kill, end of play, end denying some <laughs> Shut up. One step ahead this entire game, that was exactly the moment where Dig was going to try and make something <laughs> happen. And Dokla, as you mentioned, loses almost nothing for that. So even though they're chat winless with the, the Rumble, streamer. he's making it work in this game. Yeah, just look at where the wave is top. If right? chat so reflects streamer, right is chat oiled up? He has set up top side. He's not really going to lose anything from is it. chat yes, oiled yeah. up? Licorice is TPing back towards top lane. So he knows there's not going to be any sort of an answer on this play. So that's why they're trading so heavily into these minions here, baiting them in. Then the equalizer gets dropped. Uh, almost a one for one trade. That. He is going to be able to get away. Unfortunately, the flash is committed. Can't actually tag him with that Electro Harpoon. Otherwise, it could have been another kill. But they get the barrier. They get the yeah, kill. Yeah, why doesn't they get he have cleanse this game? Full wave from his He's against Bard, he Jin, Sedge. Like three minions Absolute on top pick side. central. Because the wave was stacked and had to be pushed out from Licorice, then he just TPs back the answer. So that's great stuff from Dokla on a pick that has not been successful for them. Now Contrax is here to further accelerate the lead for FBI. He will dodge. Oh. And will be on the bottom side of the map. Oh, he's going to dodge. Them. As they crash this big wave, Contrax is level six. They're going to take out the tower with the tempered fate, so he can go for an easy glacial prison Ch onto the dodge flashless Ven. FBI and Huhi brute forcing their way through aisles, and Sven is no longer in this world. You're and next. now Palafox is coming in to help the cause. Four man dive onto one. Oh my god, the Isles wave's gonna, gonna die. Install with that death charge. Ooh, clean. Yo, clean dive by NRG. Well. Really good clean stuff dive. here from NRG. This is looking like a blowout the other way. Wait, this is looking like yeah, the other game way around. Was, but still, good map movement, nice roams, good coordination and handling of the dive. Palafox even gets down there to help out. Yeah, he's gonna lose a little bit. We'll Pala see if Jensen can kind of keep him away from this wave but it doesn't look like it. It's actually kind of close. Last game, I think, was 2.9k oh, at eight minute lead Ooh, for Dignitas. The and now it's a two and a half thousand gold lead at nine minutes. What do you mean they LEC is doomed? How is that your conclusion execute, from that bot dive? In terms of the fear of energy being completely mental boomed after that game one, that's gone because they're coming out and everything's going the way of energy here. Oh, Licorice God, Dignitas' is draft is so nice useless, isn't it? Situation. The wave is in a bad spot. as here. And he and has no Skarner. TP. And look at the squad that's coming up here. So he, if he stays, he's <laughs> oh dead. If he leaves, he loses a full wave at least. He's going to stop him. He won't be able to kill him, but he's going to delay the base even more. So that's going to be even more annoying. There's no TP available, so it's not even yep. like Jensen can come up top to try to cover. Licorice can't come up top to try to cover. So they are trading turret plates down on the bot side. Um, but Isles has left bot, so it is just going to be the Ash racing against the three. So energy should have the edge up here on that top side, Ooh. even though Jin is... Absolutely awful at killing towers. <laughs> Jin is terrible at killing towers. Forty seconds on the second fight of Grub, so pretty good. And continuing to play through Dokla's rumble, the fact that their confidence in this pick has completely unwavered through all the stats that we've seen throughout regular season and playoffs. Maybe this is what they've been seeing results in. in that was a red left. Makes perfect, man. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, lose is improved. Try and try and try and try and try and try and try again. There you go. <laughs> and it's going to eventually work for you. Eventually, we'll get there. Well, now, what does Dignitas do? Because they still have the benefit of having a lot of go buttons on their side. So they can always force engages, but they just need to make sure that oh they're Oh my god, chat right is free. Fights, You're free. Not getting completely isolated as Licorice. It's going to yeah, skate through the wall. Flash these Electro Harpoon, but that sets him up well, for they an easy target the of the Glacial Prison into the Tempered Fate. He's going to stall time with the Impale, but surely he goes down to the last bullet of the FBI. That was honestly pretty well done from Liquor, trying to buy as much time as he could. I thought maybe he had a chance to get out when the Glacial Prison actually got Bard ulted, unfortunately. But still, Energy sent enough members there. One thing that is yeah, it's just looking like the opposite of game one. Solo gold on the bot side, so he'll likely be able to cash in on that uh, turret down on bot lane. But FBI has picked up a couple early kills. The Jin is getting yeah. very far ahead, and uh, this game starting to spiral here. 
You know, Dignitas just needs to slow down the pace of the game, try to play a little bit defensive, because they do still have so many pick tools and they have good scaling. Six yeah, grubs. It's going to be yeah, six grubs as well, though. And the rough. tricky thing here is I actually feel like Dig is trying to slow the game down. It's a horror. But that's Dig's completely fucked. Their comp is terrible. Map gaps NRG is so energy far ahead. Can just camp four people top lane oh my and dive God. at will. It's because Jin has his ears not making absolute wet plays. dream of a comp against pressure. enemy comp. And energy is playing really absolute well. Absolute wet dream. I also say, just who he and contracts have been right place, right time. And Spika and Isles have not been there to cover, right? You know, they have Jin not Rumble. been you know, it's responding my favorite. to these plays, responding to these moves that are being made by their opponents. And... It does feel like, as a result, energy is often having that extra man. You can see a lot of the first item completion. Chat, our LCS there. finals next uh, we weekend. Just saw, you know, the ship bought up, the Triforce is completed. Yep. We have the Zeke's purchase. So a lot of these items now completed all at the same time here for energy. No, did a weekend and after, right? Spiking at a very good time. Next objective will not be for another four minutes on the bottom side of the map, but the Rift Herald is spawning in under two minutes. We're going to see how well energy are able to swamp their lane assignments over to the top side of the map. Because at this point, you want to just strangle Dignitas out of this game. You don't want to give them a way back in with that late game scaling insurance from Jensen Zier, who, you know, despite the side lanes collapsing the bar picks any on better in hindsight? the other he is still remaining No, I still think Rel is just, it's just the pick, no matter Jensen what. Jensen might be the target, though. Tempered Fate does land. Can Hindsight's hard the because the game state will always be different, it, but right? Contracts and FBI are also here. The deadly flourish lands. Here comes the curtain call. Oh and I was going to try to block it. And nice stun from downtown as FBI's curtain call is cut short. The assault's coming from absolutely everywhere. Dignitas has to just defend for their lives here. They do not suffer a fatality in the game. I don't want to stomp. I want to close game. To make it until I'd say they can they get can't do anything they just have to turtle everyone. each tower and try the and slow one down the thing bleeding that they can hold on to is the fact they, they lose have every grids, lane so energy wouldn't have a soul threat that soon but they're threatening everything else yeah and I mean Dignitas is just trying to overload that bot side to keep them away from the tower because with six scrubs it gets so difficult and also that bot lane tier one is so low that Dignitas wants to pick up that gold but oh uh, Jensen Isles just have based flash? and now Jensen is stuck out he tries to Ow. slink away but cannot escape the winter's wrath contracts picks up another kill it's another one going the way of energy you know Isles was playing you want the fast him, series but, uh, the longer this series goes on the less sleep I get for T1KT also going to be backing off Isles bases Jensen does not and ends up getting caught out for another kill and now you know bad kind of going to worse here and what a tale of two games so this is actually a stat that we had uh, before the series in terms of every energy member the highest correlation for winning or losing is actually whether or not who he is ahead or behind uh, when he's in a good state or when I'm he's new to doing lead good things, who do you play for? Seem to click I play for, for a team energy. called Los Ratones. Is, uh, they have four last game world was an titles. Example where he was down 3, and uh, yeah. they have a mid laner called uh, the game, Unkillable Rat King. He is about a thousand gold ahead of Isles, but I think it's more about the gold being a result of the plays that have been successful and yes. how much that brings to the rest of Energy's team. So just watching who he and his impact on Bard. Uh, this one is really completely different than game one. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a lot about him on Static ring on Jin. as well. Yeah, it's static RFC and the IE is Jin build. just works for them to bar this Jean. game. Um, you know, I also went back mm. and was looking at the games that he did have. Yeah, these, these teams finish fifth and, and sixth, right? was playing like Ash and playing Senna and playing, mm. you know, double range bot lanes and these types of things where they could push and could create these advantages where I think he's more unlocked on the map like we see this lane. Because now he's going to try to threaten Licorice who is forced to flash again, but the Glacier Prison locks him down. The Tempered Fate. Ho, 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 ho. He's going to make sure That's the turret sweet. does not deter them from getting the kill on the top side of the map. This tier 2 turret it's is also going to fall. It's absolute destruction, isn't it? And Dignitas on the other side of the map, they're trying to get whatever Big, objectives Jensen has no cross map yeah, here. He doesn't have grubs. He doesn't do any so damage Jensen to towers. That. He's pushing up towards the tier 2. Of course, Corky's going to be able to get down there to answer, so Jensen won't really be able to threaten it. But now it is a 5,000 gold lead. I don't think I ever want to see Skarner again. It's so weird. I, I'm going to make up a stat request that is very difficult to fulfill. <laughs> yeah. But... In the same series, the total goal difference at 14 across game one and game two, because basically that is a weird stat. energy was down like seven, 6,000 gold at 14 in last game, and now they're up 5,000 gold. So that 10,000 gold difference between game was fifth, between energy was sixth. <laughs> yeah, but dig of the, uh, 100 thieves of the goats. I mean, it is thieves crazy. Goats. Sometimes you do have these series where it's a best of five. It goes all five games, but all five games are stomps, yep. you know, and it can be really back and forth, but in a weird way. Why are some games so one-sided? I mean, the snowball is just too strong, right? Snowball it from there. Yeah, but like, what's 
it's more than a stock. When you fall behind, you have less have options, been, and if the enemy team's good at shutting down any options like you both have, of these two games. Yeah, then there's yeah, nothing yeah, really uh, you can do unless minutes, they make a mistake. It seems like there's no doubt who's going to win both of these games, and they're different teams both times. Yeah, now the I mean, NRG is, is snowballing really well. Might be in trouble. Oh, we got interrupted and Dick's comp is useless, so it's not like they can overload a side or just play for scaling. There's nothing they can do, and they're getting outscaled. And I want to continue that point, That's the worst game to at be in. in game one, at least have some scaling fallback is great, but they're only scaling as Azir, but you ain't scaling like, hey, on Azir against Jin, Corky, Rumble. They all outrange you. After 20 minutes and see if we can yeah. get back in this game. There were maybe he has to shuffle in here, maybe. Game, I think, but maybe try a shuffle here. Looks good, maybe. Or just, yeah, die, I guess. I don't think so at this point, but Jensen managing to survive before he finally burns down to the equalizer, the tier two turret, Falls, His dive is a bit scuffed, but it should be fine. And now the rest of Dignitas are just getting absolutely cooked by Dokla's rumble. And My the rest God, of get a kill challenge impossible. Onslaught. Nice cosmic binding, locks Licorice down. My and God. Energy don't lose a single man. Oh they have My been God. so active this entire game. What on game, earth? I will say, NRG Snowball Dignitas. is a lot better than Dignitas is from last game. They got Another both side tier twos in 17. Oh fight. my god, someone yeah, old chat that I heard it. Just showing, I just you know, heard someone old chat. What did they say? The execution what did they say in old chat? I just heard it. NRG does have a bounce back game. And I think critically, again, Palafox is having another solid performance. And he's looking strong. Yeah. He really has been the most important part to a lot of this team's I success. heard the old chat. So seeing him have two back-to-back -back good games is really nice. And again, just aggressive play after aggressive play. They start the dive here. They're able to delay things a little bit with the Bardal onto contract, shuts off the tower, resets the aggro onto him, which was quite nice. And then they just get oh, in. Oh shit, and I'm just supposed to have hashtag LCS coaching in my stream. It is a gold dip oh, shit. at Oops. this point. Hold up. You know, Sven is free firing, but he just doesn't really okay, have enough in the tank to yeah. turn it around. Yeah, no, don't fire me. Yo, chill Palafox out. Chill out. Don't with, uh, fire me. Several auto attacks there and really not seeming to chill do any damage. Out. Just the static shiv. So, I, I at this point, Azale, I have no idea what's going to happen in this series. I had some They're level of idea. Rumble again. <laughs> Palafox, <laughs> like 100 autos. Yeah. <laughs> Blood, you hit me like 100 like, autos man. and this fire yeah, and damage. Lamau, I knew that's someone all chatted. It's like you have a I knew it. That thing feels awful. He doesn't even have Tabby or anything. He's just got... Merc He's treads. got a Triforce. He's got some HP. I don't know what to make of this series anymore. Well, <laughs> it's going to be Whoever gets reset, those, the early lead. Yeah, chat. Yeah. These are the series where, like, how do you analyze it? Who's, who's favored? Both very, very of them well. the just stomped each other. Can Dignitas do the same in the next sure. game, right? You know, how is their mental going to be doing? Because the expectation versus reality for this Dig roster was very, very far apart. I think a lot of people had faith in them. You know, all the way up until last week, really, uh, where they got absolutely decimated in their series last week. And then people started saying, okay, well, maybe it's actually not going to come together. Uh, but they have so many veterans, so much success. Oh, oh my god, oh, help! Combo, the tempered fate set up the rest <laughs> of the Wombo from oh Energy. Oh my right god. Right on top of Sven. No way that he was able to escape. Had both flash and barrier, but the sequencing was just marvelous from Energy. Bro, how are objective bounties not on? That's, That's my question. question. They are you know what? Are. I it's bet you it's drakes? dragons. Yeah. Dragons no, play on, really on. heavily yeah. into it. So there are some weird games there is a big where, rundies. especially when it first came out, yeah, where are. you could be down a ton of gold and have, have multiple dragons, and they would have the bounties and weird stuff like that. So dragons are definitely valued very heavily as far as that is concerned. But they are active now, finally. But, I mean, you're down 9K. You're going to need a lot of bounties. Yeah. I mean, I'm just thinking about the way that Energy pulled this off. They got Pryo in all three lanes, Contracts did the early engage, and then they were so connected throughout the entire game. Right? I feel like wins that this game? level really? of connection really? is the secret sauce that got them the Summer Ow. Split Championship Ow. last year and yeah. allowed them to beat Talk G2 to at Worlds and make it to quarterfinals. But that level of connection has been largely absent for the whole year, yeah. so it almost felt like a fever dream, and you wonder if they could ever bring Benson it back. Will find and this a is road, not proof really. that they can do it, what, is but it it's be a proof that it can still happen occasionally. I always think back to the quote from Contracts in their VOD review content they did with Energy towards the tail end of summer, and how they were kind of joking around with Contracts, like, oh, why do you always push this limit? And it's like, well, I always feel like the best players in the world are always going to push the line as far as we can, and if we ever are synced up on that, then we we can be one of the best teams in the world. That is what allowed them to achieve international success against G2 in Worlds last year. 
And Maybe like said, I'll get Jad, my 20k gold difference this game. Hold up. For a majority of the year, but if they can continue building upon that, then this series can be theirs to claim. Yeah, and also, like, I need to go back to this Rumble pick because it is just so abnormal for a pro team for during the regular season to have five games in a row on the same champion and then just keep picking it. Would you say it is counter to logic? G2 mentioned it. It does actually. Mm. It's counter to your emotion. It's actually, no. <laughs> Kobe it's, is stirring in the lounge no. right now. So weirdly enough, it is very logical. Emotionally, you can't do it. Because usually you're just like, dude, we, we lose on this pick all the time. But if you're actually, Rafa, to your point, talking about trying to be a top, top team, the top teams play Rumble. Yep. The top teams win with Rumble. You'd have to learn how to do this, otherwise you will fail. So maybe that's something that can explain why they just never stop picking this. NA chance. mentioning G2 that, is I, I equal to like EU well mentioning 2019. Sure do have to no, it's not. We also have Impact. Who's mostly just playing tanks all the time forever. But he's won with Rumble. That was and last year. But he's also oh the my most God, successful LCS top laner ever. Flash quick. And it looks like Sven might be caught <laughs> out again. It's the same story. Uh, Temper Fate and the rest of the Ensemble oh picks out the AD carry once God. again. And Energy now have five men to four. And they can look to turn this into a Baron play as... Uh-oh! Isles is next on the menu. And now it's five to three. Surely this is a Baron play. Looking like it. Uh, well, Dokla is going to stall for time, and the rest of Energy are going to see if they can and bail now, out their top laner and preserve his perfect KDA. And just the threat of the collapse alone pushes both I have Spica never seen and Licorice off. And now Licorice such a one is in trouble. Game in my life. Well, I've never seen such a one-sided one game across the map. this year in the first game. And then it, with the recall. I've never seen such a one-sided no, game this year after the second game. Who's yeah. just going to stall some time here? Donates the kill over to FBI. Does take a little bit more time, but energy, they're playing with their food at this point. They don't even need the dragon. They can now turn their attention towards the Baron. Yeah, this is a fucking dragon, stomp. Uh, accelerating the Baron take right now. I actually did think they would just take the dragon and then kind of slowly move towards the Baron, Jesus. but knowing there's no smite steal right now, I think this is the smart play. They're just playing a great game. Especially with how delayed the death was there for Spika. Yeah. You know, he is going to be pretty desynced from the rest of the team. So they guarantee the Baron here pretty well. No one from Big Dust really even looking like Yo, they're going to until it's already going to be gone. Energy now 11,000 gold ahead, Man, 23 minutes I just want to watch TL this versus 100 Thieves. Like a, another and I want to watch FlyQuest C9. I feel like those series are going to be really high octane. Well. I kind of think... This one Jake feels... Um, this, this series Kendrick. feels... They're get aced in the game will end. Mm. I think they are going to get I get it. the sensation that... I, I haven't watched much aced? LCS, but... No. I think whoever get wins the series is just going to get slapped in the next round anyway. maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Azir Pick just it up, Pookie. pretty fast, but we'll Alt see if that Drake. fast enough. Alt it! Alt it! Well, yeah, they got the Drake. All right. They don't even care. They're going to try to catch Sven again. He, he dodges it. the Temper he Fate, that too. and he flashes You're right, Chad. He doesn't need cleanse. Oh, my God. The combo is dodged out by Dignitas' AD carry, and they manage to escape back to the safety of their base. The question is, though, now do you just get dove and the game ends, right? Because Sven has no flash. Now it's pretty easy for them to look to force something. And yeah. Spika is not with them. Spika is going for one of these long distance plays. There's an arrow on the Oh, yes, Mikhail's. That's naughty. Mikhail's you got it for me? Not bad. With the suppress on the okay. impale, he scarnelled them, then blast combed them in. The oh my god, he found the road and it wasn't the cool the second. Good shuffle from Jensen, but I don't think it's enough, y'all. Energy are still just cooking oh. Dignitas alive. Oh. And the curtain call will oh. find a couple more bullets. The fourth one doesn't hit. He, roast, he raised the white flag. Yo, I would the personally drop the FF field to save the KDA. Do it. I do it in solo kill time. Do it now. But then maybe, maybe he can look for at least one more kill. Boy, he's alive. Energy, they're having fun with it. They do not get the what on earth is this series, bro? Absolute stomps on both sides. Kill, are you, you know are you kidding? Energy, are you kidding? They get stomped in the game one. They're gonna stomp them right back in game two. Are and the you series kidding? Is tied one to one. Twenty one to one is absolutely what is this series? A destruction of Dignitas here in game number two. Two extremely one sided games, one apiece for each team to kick this one off. And now the question is. Can yeah. Dignitas yeah. bounce back in yeah. the same yeah. way yeah. that Energy yeah. did yeah. after the first one? Just shake it off. Short memories, long careers. That's what these players have to have moving through the rest of this series. It's the next two or three that's going to decide whose season gets to continue. And it is literally anybody's game right now because of how disparate both of these two games were. Yeah. With that, we're going to head on over to the LCS Lounge to break Game 2 down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the movie theater!
The lights are off. Turn what the lights on. We're, we're watching, hanging out. We're watching Deadpool? a movie of pushing lanes. No, it's way more boring than <laughs> that. Wants to watch Wolverine <laughs> and Deadpool. Bro, chat, if you haven't seen Wolverine vs. Deadpool yet, or yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck it's called, yeah. it's actually oh, mega good. Yeah, we're going to start up. It's mega good. Ooh, this is a great state right here, right? Oh my god, so, three arrows. Yeah, contact arrows. is going to go there. Yo, they're hard and chilling on that sofa. We'll play it out. I noticed what is this emote? similar with all these arrows. They're all pointing <laughs> into Dignitas into territory. Dignitas territory. Look at that. We love pushing lanes uh, oh as we're going to see. Oh my god. Um, what is that? And here comes contact. What is that? Yeah, Let's get rid of something. A, this is what allows him What do we get rid to, of? Uh, Come in and just uh, really what are we rid of? Pika. This is great, honestly. This is just like yeah. I kind of want to throw confetti like over the, the mini map. map. Yeah, like woo! What do we get rid of? Such a good lane stay. Pika's hating his life. Yeah. Cat punch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is what sets up, right? Because we were talking about. Uh, I will not yield. It's a bad emote. Everyone spams riot games far, anyway. When the pick has been incredibly strong. This game, we finally see them execute on this. Let me tell you. Playing League of Everyone Legends spams riot with games three anyway. pushing lanes is the Feels best good. way to play League of Legends. Yeah. I love that way to play League of Legends. I love energy with this draft. Yes, it is. The series has been about execution, but this draft was also really nicely done. Standard also, lanes, pushing lanes, and as we just highlighted there, you had the roaming bard, so mm -hmm. it wasn't even just contract skanks. Uh, with your all your winning lanes, you get the freedom for Bard to go. Did you watch your uh, LCK coaching lane main story? You yeah. get top laners going for ganks too. Dokla using yeah. his pushing lane. Circle to that rumble. I can't because it's being blocked. Oh, I true. Like, yeah. just blocked on her I'm screen. getting trolled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give him some confetti or something. Yeah, yeah there's an LCK <laughs> series in seven hours, do. eight hours. More it's often, gonna bang right? that LCK Before series. Yo, T1, T1 KT is gonna go crazy. Listen, if you're an if you're an NA frog, yo, NA frogs. I know you might not stay up for LCK a lot, okay? And I'm not gonna sit here and convince you to watch LCK. But, but, if you're ever gonna stay up late, I promise you, staying up late for this, it's gonna be absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. You gotta be there. Just for one game. Try and make it for one game. And honestly, this reminds me of energy at their peak. I'm not here to tell you to watch LCK every night because it's probably really late for you guys, but if you can trust me one time that it's going to go fucking crazy, it's it's that series right there. It's going to be crazy. What time is it in NA in in actually? In 8 hours from now? What time is it? Time in LA. Let's take LA. It's 8, it's 2 p.m. So it's in 8 hours. So it's at like 10.30. That's not too bad, I guess. 10.30. I'm in New York. What about the West Coast? 5.30. I feel like fire is usually bad there. Ooh, that's a bit later. Ooh. We're back to the confetti. But yes, this was kind of crazy. And Dignitas could not pause at any point. 2 a.m. Yeah, 2 a.m. is tough. You told me I couldn't draw arrows. If the game is bad, should we consider you a liar? No. 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 Don't call me, don't consider me a liar. Although everything I say is a banger turns into a sleeper. Oh my god, I thought that green stuff was his hair. I thought he was rocking like a fucking bird parrot hawk at the back. Jesus. Jesus. So yeah, now we've had two very one-sided stuff. Where do we go next? Game number one, energy lane swap, and they... Almost destroy Wait, themselves in multiple. <laughs> multiple this is Raz, not um, me. Raz. Can, can they even see goats? They can't see. They that. better so, see the goats. Yeah. You can't draw. I think if the series was a was a three zero or like two zero up, I would probably full send the series. But maybe I should maybe I should just host LCS and then we watch the full hundred deep series tomorrow. Maybe. Thank him. Right he is now. my goat. So last. I want to watch that one. And I want to watch that one. I need. We I need it, everyone in chat. No, let's stay up. Okay, we'll stay up. Let's stay up. Let's stay up. Oh, we see it, man. Let's stay up. I don't trust you. I don't trust producers. I only trust chat. I'm da, da, da. Chat, are, chat are my only Oh, friends. chat. If you're new here, by the way. Raz was dirty uh, in my couch. <laughs> I'm dirty in your couch. The League Awards branding is done. Now. None of us have manners. We're going to be hosting an award show at the end of the year. For Worldwide League of Legends. For, you know, players of the year, teams of the year. MVPs of the year, plays of the year, 
you name it. There's going to be loads of awards. They'll be announced later. But that's the branding and the Twitter account made. Um, it's going to be hosted somewhere around November, December. The dates and stuff will be announced soon. But yeah, if you want to give that a follow, much appreciated. Uh, it'll be hosted by Shox and me and a couple of other people. Which will be mega, full, mega fun, mega cool. Meal of the year. Yeah, I already won that. Calling out room timers in standard lanes <laughs> is something that you need to do in the lane. We're going to be suited up. They completely demolished. And it's going to be great. But in the standard lanes, Jinx Hawks were unable to track any of the people with the pushing lanes. Yes. We'll see how draft goes in game. Rat of the year we're goes to T1 one Rat, I think. I flip flopped for Absolute nothing, degenerate. but now I need to stick to my dig predictions. You're better. Game three is coming up on the other Absolute side. Absolute degeneracy. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, flashbang. Whoa. Actually, Rat of the Year is Zeus, you're right. Rat of the Year is Zeus. Red Bull gives you wings. Dang. Bit some bars. You got you guys don't like my bars. I don't feel like I, I should give you any more bars. You guys you guys don't like my bars. Holy shit, you've been following since 2020. Your respect. Respect. You guys hate my bars. You mother suckers. I put a lot of effort into those bars. Rumble and I can can uh yeah, we can sneak. Try to sneak two little wolves. Not bad. I can play the Not bad. Worst case. Yeah. I'll be not here. bad. Yeah. yeah, it looks not bad. I'm here. I'm here. Not I'm bad. Go back, go back, go back. Ooh, chat! I found a video. Nice I'm gonna pin it. It's it's really Ancient Rome in 20 minutes. Yo, that's getting pinned. We're watching that tomorrow. Yo, someone remind me to watch that tomorrow. Someone remind me to watch that tomorrow. Ooh, a new daily dose just got released. A new daily dose just got released. Hold up. Wait, this is seven minutes long. Wait, seven minutes of Daily Dose? Yeah, we watch that tomorrow. What? Seven minutes of Daily Dose? What? Okay. okay, we'll watch it tomorrow. I have one more. Yeah, Ooh, a new Daily nice. Dose for seven minutes. That's mega. Yeah, he's alone, I think. It's so funny that Contrax was in the stream watching the LCK and now he's in a playoff series. Yeah, that motherfucker Contrax was in the stream this morning watching LCK with us. Then he went to sleep and then he woke up and now he's in the playoffs. If he was listening, he would have heard Corky Maokai. Corky Maokai, he would have heard it. He heard Jin Rumble as well. Jin Rumble, Corky Maokai, he would have heard it. Coming. They hit, I think we can look for arrow. Yeah, I'm looking for arrow right now. You can look for scoop maybe. It's drawing you. Um, I'm here. Between. Okay. We have a really deep TP flank, so if they I'm keep going, I'm gonna look. Okay. No, no, they're, they're, going, going. they're going, they're going, they're going. TPing? I'm, I'm, I can only hit Sedge. I can only hit Sedge, okay? Kill Sedge. It's not good. It's not good at all. One like, of us. Turret's gone, turret's gone. I have nothing. Should we kill? No, 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 nothing. Run. Sedge, no flash. Quickie okay, flash. Front, front, front. Let's front, front. I got stunned after. Oh. Let's get out after. Yeah, can you guys, uh... It's just, it's just this guy. Yeah, yeah, well, like... Wait, hold on a second, one sec. Dragon, no, no, for, uh, help yeah, yeah. me on Dragon yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll base, you guys can... <clears throat> I, I will help. Ward here. Okay. Watching mid, guys. Yeah, watching. I'm right, tiny, one. <laughs> Baron, Nash, let's Nash, go Baron. Nash. Let's go Baron. Who's our I, turn? I, I Who's don't our take turn? damage from it, so just let so them come in. Yeah, our turn is literally just like running at them with... Yeah, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, let's keep. Haha. I don't see buy still, guys, okay? It's fine. I just got a whoff of energy chat. Oh my god. I just got a second wind. Holy fuck. Wait, I just got a crazy second wind. I ran around the house. I did a lap. And now I feel fucking great. <laughs> chat, I didn't do drugs. Shut the fuck up. I just ran from here to the end of the house and back. Yes. Is it a AD champ? Now I feel good. Oh my god. Yes. Chat, I don't do drugs. Bro, that's... Is it a guy? 
Fuck drugs! Yes. I think. Is yeah. it Yordle? Yeah. Is it Teemo? No. Nope. Uh, Nar? No. <clears throat> Ganon? You asked if it had mana. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Yordle with mana? You played against Ezra? Poppy? Drinks coffee, drink says he doesn't do no. drugs. Oh. Is coffee a drug? Bro, the sugar from this out. drink is hitting me, man. I'm okay. swear on Grump. Um, I swear on Grump. I'll give you a hint. It has a really long name. Actually, chat, you know what it was? You know what it was? You know what it was? Any help? It was the fact that I realized today and tomorrow are the, are the last times that I'll ever be able to do like a 17 hour stream until next year. Because next Welcome next week is LEC Munich, so I can't do LCS next week, sadly, because like it's Munich. I'll try, but I don't know how to stream it from the... I'll be in the LEC st stadium, right, in Munich. And then the week after that, when I do LCS, there's no LEC. So this weekend is the final time we're gonna do 17 hour streams. I wonder if Riot will let me stay in the stadium. <laughs> Yo, can I stay in the stadium while you pack everything up and do the LCS? Um, there was like one player from the LJL, I want to say, who played it mid a little bit. Oh yeah, uh, and Saros then, back yeah. in the day. And then it's been played support, obviously, a bit over the years, but uh, definitely a hard one to guess. We are going on to game number three. It's one to one after two absolute slams, one way mm -hmm. then the other. Well, Dignitas we is blue side. What Dig is going to go for? So they're that means they're going to stomp, right? On blue side. And if you remember game number one, that's when they first picked Senna. So the question is. Does Senna. energy ban Senna on red, or are they willing to you see that, that red dot chat? And if they do ban it, are you then yeah. giving up something Ugh. like Orianna or whatever? Ugh. Yeah, Renekton open as well. Currently, that is now banned by Dignitas, so they want to set up that Senna first pick again. Senna ban. It is oh, praise the Lord! Energy. Listen, I think I NRG's is favorite this series, series though, because CD these suckers going to win. Which I think. Was with Lilia first pick, wait, that, not Lilia. Senna. With so Senna first pick. They carry this Ew. Game with Lilia, which Senna is first pick. Draft. Ew. And we get into the situation again. I could see uh, that matchup coming into play around game four or five. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. All right, uh, Maokai, Maokai, Corky, do it for the boys. Still up and available, quite high. Prio. Do really it, Maokai, Corky, like, come on. on the mages because give it to me. Uh, Jensen, you know, has really not been. Malka Koki. On these ADs, so I really do wonder Vi, if energy what the fuck? should have higher prio on things huh? like the Ori with these here banned out. You know, huh? take away some of the comfort from they're Jensen, gonna play Vi Kennen or what? AD pick and, and Bro, if they play Vi Corky, I'm zone, gonna lose it because he did look game, good in, in game one and game two. He was he was you solid. have to wait. You have to go to bed uh, at two three m. Really yes, about it's fine. Him. Um, Palfox, though, has been having back-to-back -back strong performances. He was kind of that lone shining light in game number one and had another good game in game number Vi. two. So Vi, what? him performing again, I think, really is Vi, nice Ashy. for energy. Okay, they need Kennen on three. The standard way. They I mean, they also the need MF on hit two, three with Lilia. The world. They and need they MF, they need Kennen on three. Well, I'll tell you who I'm also happy about mm, What happens, you could do, you could do, you could like take away the Kennen, Cassante. An awesome game like that from Dokla in quite some time. Oof, you have but to take MF here, right, surely. Unless you do Cassante, Corky, they take Kennen. Was Dokla then what happens? Finally, being able to usurp and they ban the all the other stronger top laners during that summer 2020. They probably split. ban. And a lot of the faith in that rumble. Pick Surely they're picking Kennen on three here. It is banned this game as they don't want to give it over to Licorice, but we're gonna see now that Cassanta is blinded. Cassanta, what kind of what's my Christmas present, bro? And cook up what's my Christmas present? Yeah, do they want to actually? Oh my mid, God! Don't play Talia mid. mid. I hate it. Talia, I hate it. I hate Talia mid. Uh, so oh my God, bro! Uh, I hate Talia mid. Vi goes in with the ulti. You flick them back. You really punish people. It's great against champions with dashes as well, with both Corky and Cassante have. So pretty solid Zix answer ben. here already. That's a good ban, actually. And Corky obviously on the other side, you know, they kind of needed that AD pairing they felt mm -hmm. alongside the Lilia. So it is Jensen back on Marksman and we'll see how he's going to perform. I will say Corky's the most traditional Marksman though. So it's, it's a Palafox special playing competitively for probably a decade at this point. Corky is here, Corky is here. The mid lane so genius. For a reason. <laughs> it's because that was locked he in the middle. He was always the in that phrase though. He's been the Corky enough. I'm I'm going to I'm going to find his Corky stats.
He's played a lot of court. He's definitely hey, Talia, played a independent lot of role. Yeah, I think Talia parts, stage right now is not that good. Feel it is more outside of his comfort zone compared to some of these other champions. Like, all right, I think NRG Estrial ban here is pretty good. Cassio, Victor, Rise, yeah, nice. Talia, and then uh, I mean, what do you ban with Ash? You could ban. I mean, Brown's up. Rel, Alistar trade. Maybe maybe Rakan ban. If you care about a support. Yeah, exactly. So I still think Kennen is OP for their comp, but I don't like Kennen Talia too much. He's always been more on the other side of that it's not that he never da, 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 and over da, da, the last couple da, da, years da, 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 he has been kind of forced to try to pick them up he has been kind i of think rakan ban brown blind is pretty good against vyash mid but uh he's definitely Ooh, you know, ban. i don't like nautilus ban paychecks on those mages that is what he was always so successful for all right what's your top lane pick here these guys on dick have had on four legendary careers and they're what fighting is it? to say that the careers you know, Cassante top you can play that it's not all the successes of the past that we're riding off of that we can still perform poppy cannon uh, nar it is a tough end of the split if that's all you're allowed to go out today they definitely yeah, want poppy's to fine. fighting want to stay on the playoffs so return to the poppy it could potentially go they to need to be careful of playing mf rel here because they can play ash brahm into it this split i do think teams. they should now go what yeah, they should go. They should go MF. Yeah, it's good. MF Rel is really good here, but I think Brown on five is really annoying. Oh, is there something better than this? You know what's actually cooking really hard here? No, you can't play it. Never mind. Whatever he feels is best in this matchup. Ash is a really strong early laner. I mean, Brown here clear, super good against MF. The priority bot and how important that Ash Brown classic number two. So I think that's what they're going for here. Uh, the classic is gonna be one of not going to play hey, Seraphine, yeah, right? Yeah. And oh then they will look my the god, don't strong. play Seraphine. Oh my god, please don't do it. I please. See them just locking it okay, in Alistar is fine. Is kind of the I cannot see Seraphine so in any die. universe. The I will engaged. do a backflip, invent time travel, go back in time, go on his mouse and change the pick if that happened. So that is a pretty standard answer. It makes it so Why would you ever play Seraphine in this draft? You're playing Talia Vi. Talia needs things to play off. She needs hooks to play off, combos to play off. She needs CC to play off. Seraphine is not reliable. Plus, you're playing range supports Vi. Range support with Talia. It's a really good synergy with Talia as well. A lot of times with Talia comps, you're just trying to have as much cc as possible to line up the flick chat how did i get nominated for streamer of the year members on dignitas so how did that happen understand why he how did am it, i there also do know when there's people like smashes they win kai kai and, so and really show speed how am i there Maybe who invited we'll bro later on in the series yeah, who invited bro of course, if what you the hell? Here, you could, you know, maybe dominate that lane, but then you have a quite squishy comp here, which For does sure. make you, you know, worried about potential rel combos into the uh, engages there from the MF. But it's going to be an interesting one because there is a lot of onus, I think, on Palafox. He's moving around the map on on being this person who's working well with the team. He's had a great series so far. He's on the Talia. If he can get pushed, he can move to those side lanes. There's great combos to pull off with the Alistar, as you touched on. Obviously, the Vi is really that main combo that he's looking for. But even towards the Poppy, you can ult up towards top lane behind the enemy top laner. Poppy can stun you into the wall. There's a lot of nice oh. combos that he can work around with really everyone on the map. Uh. And I think this is... <laughs> the new role that Palafox by being the best streamer this game the first two games win or nah, loss bro. just farming it out I'm just, just a rat man a reliable carry Kai and, uh, and, and, uh, and 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 uh, speed time, go crazy bro speed streamed Palafox in every country in Europe almost and Huhi early on into the game which is what brought a lot of that success that energy had the last time they were at the top of the table and there's going to be some early scouting going on here just because we did see a lane swap in your name's going to kill you bro probably Thought we were gonna see My neighbor wants to two, fucking fuck me up. I'm so sure of it. Some defensive lines here to see spots. And with that, we do have Emily on the sideline with Mabry, so we're gonna toss to them for the interview. My neighbors, bro. Hello, oh, he looks. I'm he looks a lot like LS. Mabry as he watches his team's level one. Uh, it's always fun to get coaches back here. Uh, okay, so now, now say hey. Now, In now say you hate when I can do it. Game one, really, really great. Game two, pretty tough loss. Uh, how did you regroup going into this game? Um, we didn't worry too much about the game, too. The game kind of just uh, spiraled out of control from the early game. I think Rumble made Would a good play. Would you give it away if you win? On the top side give it away. They had an easy dive, and after that, the game was hard to play. So we kind of just regrouped and went to blue side. Give it away. Talked about what we wanted to do for the next game. 
And it looks like, I'm not necessarily going to call it, it, but it looks like okay. we're at least scouting for a potential lane swap. Uh, one of the things that did impress me in game one was that you guys did seem a lot more comfortable in swapping, even when NRG initiated it. That was something that you really struggled with against 100 so Thieves. So big call the lane swap. your prep for this week with lane swap specifically. Yeah, that was one of the big things we focused on too, like each person's individual role in the lane swap and just kind of like looking at some of the pieces of lane swap that we were missing the previous lollipop, week. Lollipop, lollipop. What did you think you were missing the most? Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but just like all I will say is like individual roles and what each person should be doing. Um, take like in, in the early game, yeah. All right, well, all the best. Thank you so much for taking the time, and we will get back to the game. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Thank That's... you so much, Emily. And as you were saying, Azale, during all right. the interview, this is just like game one all Big over. Big dokes. Yeah, it's very reminiscent. Yo, Dokers Poppy Halo Blades really kills there. Here. That's what I'm saying, chat. Speak a low enough. That's speak a. Might not actually be able to stick right. Speaker to can't up, do you know, his raptors to get double three. Oh hell nah. Chat, how do you? So we will be what's back a good exercise if you've been yeah, sitting down all day? You know, Dokla against this uh, level one. You know, he was coming in in game number one, gets the charging, gets a chunk on Jensen, and put him behind. And it looks all right, like at least this time they're zoning away the Cassante this time. Thank fuck for that. Ooh, Dox is the one calling the bluff. Did that oh actually my god! And contracts is covering. Bro, the lane swaps in and A are crazy. The ability to Wait, Alessar just flashed away. He gets experience himself. Wait, what just happened? There was a flash. Huh? How did that sequence happen? Alessar flashed and Cassante flashed. Did, to see the start did he knock him sure over the wall? Q flash, flash and then. After? Eh? I would, I would love to eh? be able to, eh? to rewatch eh? that. Eh? You know, what? It's hard to blame what just happened in bot? Something fucked up just happened. So he TPs, he gets spotted. Something mega fucked up just happened in bot. The question is, can they dive him and make him Oh my god, Doka's getting dove. Vice here though. He also took the steadfast press to try to block him. Clean by contract. But at least it's a trade back from But Poppy don't have TP. It's a knockout punch to speak God, this lane top is all over the place. Is it Fox mid like lane? Jensen? Ooh. Yeah, look. El Contrato! I'm not sure if he got bumped back by the contract's Q and couldn't flash in time, or if he actually stepped back and thought he was out of range of the tower already, but a uh, reacquired tower aggro there. And does end up going down show me the replay trade. of bots. So Just show me the flashes, really that please. That game one please. situation for energy where everything went show right it for big and the wheels kind of fell off very please. quick. That's like almost catching Jensen just on the tail end of that Valkyrie, but he survives. He is in trouble though, and Spika is around, so if he needs his help catching this wave, but who he is also around to see if he can try and punish this. Yeah, who he has no flash though, so it would be difficult. Maybe there's an angle to try to hex flash behind him and just W him in, but likely you will die if you do that. So uh, it would be a pretty high risk. So who he just trying to see if they'll overextend. Like Files comes in to help oh. him try to push this out. Oh goodness. Jensen really does not want to recall no, he, on this amount of gold. He's a he greedy wants, he mother sucker, isn't he? Wave reset. He wants to get more gold in. I think who he just Spica hex flashes around. over the Raptor Pit here, but no? This is really dicey stuff. I mean, like who he just hex flashes over the Raptor Pit? Flash play himself. Raptor, hex flash. Hello. E Por favor. Uh, yes, Biscuit. Yes, Biscuit. Just hex flash. Come on, man, please. There was a Q flash from the Alistair, then Licorice flashed the ball as the headbutt was channeling. That's the hex flash to try and threaten Jensen off the wave. I think you should have done it earlier. Not really going to be able to do it. So all this sustain, you know, built into these marks, and this is something that kind of is being targeted and has been targeted over the last little while. Um, but obviously he is flash over in Dracos's like voice. All these different runes that are helping you to kind of uh, sustain in a situation where normally you would. You missed it. What did I miss? Base. Wait, they showed the bot replay and I missed it. Am I blind? You're not serious. One of the supports, if not both what? supports from both Am teams I high? active in the first few minutes of the oh game. Oh my god, Obviously, wait, what happened? That once Isles got wait, what happened in it? What happened? I was so locked in on this mid 1v1. Consistently help the top side of the map. Game 2, who he pays that favor Oh my back god. Dokla. And now both supports, all eyes are in this mid lane. Because if Palafox is unlocked, then he gets to be a roaming monster for the mid game. And he will be Chat, level stop six, saying drugs, clean, shut up. Get his first buy, teleport back, and potentially oh, impact the Ali side flashed lanes. in, Cassante flashed Looks out. Like okay. Spika also making a play top lane, though, on the roam with that stacking wave. And I will say, this is similar to game one, where Licorice is free farming again, and Doka is getting denied a lot. Yeah. Who he is here to cover, because they know if he gets I don't do anything with no TP. I don't smoke, I don't drink. super out of the game. I but do drink Ash coffee, though. solo push Licorice off and of that wave. And coffee is a drug. So Caffeine is a drug. He's not getting much gold up here on the top side. Well, Licorice is getting paid My favorite on the drink is yeah, black tea this is and water. In favor of Dignitas, but it is definitely closer. It's way closer. The, League of Legends games. is my drug. Need to hold off here because Contracts is going to try and take at least one of these. 
Because he gets one, he gets one, he gets this one. Contract should have the smite for the third grub, so it's just a two-one split. As Speaker returns to the jungle. So remember the stat that I called up about how strange this series was? If we are to so it's a very specific stat here. Yeah. Add the gold difference in game one at 14 to the gold difference at two at 14. In every series since gold difference at 14 was tracked since 2020. This is the third largest total number. 10,000 total gold difference. However, it's the largest this number is, when the gold difference This isn't has lane swaps. This is cover teams. lane swaps. So the game one and two were crazy All different. they're doing is they lane swap, and then both Meanwhile, sides are covering lane swaps. It's crazy, no? Dive, who he was also, why the pick, fuck did he start Doran's Blade on Poppy? And Isles escapes with his that life. guy's a psychopath. Yeah, and, and one of the reasons I think a lot of people sometimes, you know, especially if you're a newer fan to League, you may be asking, well, why do people keep believing in Dignitas? And it's it's reasons like this. This is just oh. him in the LCS. Headshot. Uh, gonna force out that cleanse from Sven. He had a ton yeah, of don't play in Unreal Tournament in chat. He was the first player to actually win a title in multi kill. NAN kill. NAN oh, that's no, quake. And he's Fuck. perennially at the top, right? Mm -hmm. And this is even a role swap in there where he went to support, play quake. still winning titles, has been such a successful player for so long, uh, both across you know multiple regions. Same with Jensen. No. You know, same Wait, how old with, is my chat? Are you all Zoomers or what? Well. And, and Speak had his moments too. So it's one of these things where people have seen these guys be good for so many years that you almost Are you can't all believe fucking that Zoomers? they could just not do well all of a sudden. Oh my right? god, 2001. And with Sven in particular, 2001. it's like, especially because he was able to do that <laughs> in two different nah. roles. There's how old are you? I'm 28. Knowing how to actually win games. 28, and, be and I look like I'm 18. That voice in the room 18. when things aren't going the way they need to go. And it really does come down to this series. It's who can win. But if you ask my chat, I'm at least 54. And that's largely going to be dictated by literally who wins this game. And I think there's so much pressure on these kind of series because when you are finishing you know, towards the bottom, whoever loses this would finish sixth place overall in the LCS. Yeah. We have two teams that are going to be coming in that are new next split. You are fighting for your career, right? You yeah. are fighting Man, for I wonder if the Zoomers ever play Bloom's Tower show, Defense. Absolute really monster bad, game. You know, that can sour the taste of GMs or coaches or whoever who are, are making these roster decisions. And especially for really storied Rome. players, you don't want that to be happening, but here comes energy. Yeah. And Palafox has Weaver's Wall at the ready. Okay, so combo. First, Spica is knocked up. And oh, the Rail got interrupted. Oh, hell no. Nah. Well oh my god, that Lilia just got blasted into the wall. The wall. Nice fight. Don't have damage, off, I think, though. Do they have damage? Oh, Q flash is definitely enough damage. Is definitely enough damage. Pulverize, we'll set up the next nice play by NRG. Palafox making the move. They slowly walked up towards the river. What year and age is Zoomer to you? I think anything post 2004 is Zoomer. That Palafox was making when he was at his peak. Yeah, I mean, Palafox, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games now, really able to perform well for the squad. Gets the play up towards top side. And I've got to say, who he has been having an incredible series as well. I think yeah. he has been everywhere. Yep. When there is success, he is there. He has been so heavily involved throughout this. In fact, 2002 is not that bad. On the replay, it's all about the like 22, 23, the no? Finding this angle here for Palafox to try to get that wall in behind them. Zven has a pretty good bullet time to cover, but unfortunately for Isles, his W got interrupted by the ult there from Palafox. Wow. He got knocked out of it to the wrong side of the wall. So he didn't have that gap closer to get back over the wall. And 2007? If you get so. Yeah. No flash rail? Nice. nice. Bro, no, I Lilia, Lilia. was in art class and I made a plate with a clown smiley so face and wrote 2007 on it and I gave it to my mom as a present from school. He was going to be able to That's what I was doing in 2007. Palafox has talked about, you know, how... He has really and then I went home and played on my un my undead mental, hunt my right? my you know, night elf hunter. Able to level 23. Like he, he's the same player that he was. He's been oh so disappointed God. with the performances that he has been putting up. It's not like the fans are the only ones to see it. It's not like the cash is the only ones to see it. He has to feel it and live it, and he knows that he's capable of so much more. Does your mom he still have it? Yeah, she he does. Could really turn things around. Honestly, I was doubting him when I saw that tweet. I'm like, well, it's been a whole year of not being able to have yeah. that. Yes, let's go. That's my so genius far, midfielder. Really, really good in this series against Dick. No Chat, people say for the horde, but bro, Alliance is where it's at. That's what I'm saying. On the line. Early days of league, Alliance was where it's at. Fact. In the lower bracket, there's no more chances after a series loss. And for now, Dignitas, they are staring... For the horde, more like for the fraud. That was a good one by me, actually. Double knock. On some of these fights. 
And Zuhi tries to lead the engage on to speak up, but he bullies his way back into the dragon thanks to the teleport of Licorice, and that guarantees them the second dragon of the game. Yep, numbers advantage there for Dignitas being able to even these drakes out and keep this game incredibly competitive. That's finally a little bit of Licorice's advantage. He went to the gym with the guy who made Bloons Tower defense. That Wait, really? Energy from being able to That's actually kind of cool. Uh, Thanks for the leash moment right there. And I think what we're going to see from Energy, you know, over these next couple minutes is they want to keep pushing lanes, spread out the maps, and look for opportunities to use their vision advantage with the Ash and find picks with all of this engage they have, with the ability to find things mm -hmm. with the vibe. Oh my god, Contracts. He actually got they it. They want to section members out from Dig and find those picks. And Contracts actually just stole one of the grubs away. And they're being kited back towards... Oh, we were trying to bait Corky Flash there. Doesn't look like Spica's able to get one Smart of them by the contracts. So he queued at him. Yeah. And I think he that thought that he wants Jensen to flash there, away, thinking he's going to queue flash him. Right but he didn't, he didn't pull the trigger really and Jensen didn't flinch. Fractions of a second. Four grubbies for El Contrato. Very, very small lead to energy, but most of it is just That's about big. The keeping the Lilia down. Speak very, very big. Yo, it's really are they not going to cover Corky on this top wave? Since she is not You're not serious, guys. Okay, good trouble, flash. But he flashes away from the head buff pulverized combo, gets out alive, is going to give respect to the flick combo as well coming out from Palafox, but he should be fine collecting the next wave coming in. Yeah, backs it up. Oh, Cassante going all out. Licorice okay. all out on Adokla, as you called it, but he's going to throw out the question mark frog because there's no more way The question Lickers mark frog. As now, the all out will time out. And Dokla should be fine. He's going to slam him into the wall, get some decent damage back. And he might be fine just enough to defend this turret the by himself. The question mark now frog. Zen is collapsing in, and they want to get this first turret brick. Dokla under fire. Sven steps up. A couple more Oh, very good ult by Sven. Right very good ult. He knew he was going to flash there. And this teleport. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, no. The TP. Oh, my God. Palafaker. What was that TP? That turret was so low. I felt like Liquor was just mm. going that aggressive and using the all out. Really did Very well played by Sven, though. Tower. He was even proxying the wave, but Dokla was Man, I'm convinced if Sven renames to Dig Neils, so he goes he's going to do fucking 10% more damage. Sven comes down to help him pick that up with a perfectly placed bullet time. That was very nice. He had it so if he backed up, he's going to walk into Licorice and die. And if he flashes out, you're flashing into the bull time and you're dying either way. And then a TP coming in pretty late. I am convinced. And insult to Stop thinking of cancel. meals. Okay, shut up. How poetic is that after game one stomp and game two stomp, game three is now the most competitive game we've got in all series. This is now both teams trying to play at their best. That's the joy of series play. It's just such a tragic moment there for Dokla. Because on a ward, no stopwatch. He's on this ward. Are they going to go for it? Doesn't look like because no one else is around. I mean, if they're smart here, energy, they'll hold the mid with Talia and they'll dive top with Corky, with Poppy Vi. Maybe you can send it with a combo. Palafox is also getting ready. He has Weaver's Wall, but now Contracts. He's got to be careful. He Volt Breakers right into Speak Up. Very good by Contracts. Comes in with a two-man knockup. The Weaver's Wall. Very good by Palafox too. And he's going to find Speak on the back half, throwing that. Beautiful. Volley. MF ults on cooldown. Ah, yeah, yeah. The flash away. The rest of energy now have Licorice. to away from Licorice. Nice W. Who wants to join into the fight. He can't get a good ult angle, though. Sets up a stun onto Huhi. Now he's trying to solo kill, kill Rel. <laughs> and they get traded one back. Isles doesn't even die in the exchange. Really greedy there, but a successful play by Isles to even the kills in this fight. Arrow We're going back more. Oh, uh, he shouldn't flash there. You should know he has cleanse. Sidesteps the flick from Palafox. Energy are forced back off. You should know he has cleanse there. Committed to flash there. Maybe not tracking that cleanse was still up. Sven doesn't even have to flash himself. He just cleanses, struts right out of there. So they get the flash off multiple key members here on the energy side. In the long run, I do still think this is probably slightly positive for Dig, as now there's no flash on, on FBI, no flash on Palafox, no flash on Contracts, all used in that fight. El Contrato. And watching it one more time, it's Spica who does get bursted down very fast at the start of this fight, continuing to have a pretty rough game as Palafox finishes Yeah, chat, by the way, good news for the really World's giveaway. Surviving the rest of this fight. this year, we have a, point. a fully signed uh, like T1 jersey, a fully signed Gen G jersey, and a fully signed Licorice Damwon jersey so far. Alive. He secures the kill and the giveaway. falls once again. Yeah, poor Speaker, man. I feel like every time we see a reaction on him, he just looks sad. He's just That is going to be great tough, for the World's split, giveaway. You know, not having a performance that he has That's going to go wanted. mega hard. Uh, and we'll see if he can try to turn things around. Still an incredibly close game. They're up 500 gold, in fact. One dragon apiece. 
So it really is going to be about the setups and, here. And, and if you do want, if you do want Kobe signature on the T1 on the jersey, side, maybe we can do that for you too. For I'm working on getting a Hamel iPhone as well. Hopefully we can get a Hamel iPhone. Especially as Jensen scales up, you know, as Corky's getting later on in the game. Yeah. You have so much poke to set up these potential hard engage that then could come through from Isles with the follow-up from Sven to really blow people up. Because there are some squishy members. I would get a KT1, but they ain't making worlds, bro. But by the same token, if you get caught by it's a, a T1, Dumb one, Hamel life, Gen G. You know it. Over the top. Even with I lens, know it. You might just be going under zero. Yeah. They ain't got a world jersey. For the Lilia in this early game, but I don't know if Lore's here, but it's not them. Later on, as you accumulate more farm with an even game state, you will be such a huge damage threat against something like the Vi, whose only job is I'm going in, I'm setting up. She one is here. No, she's die, not. And then that's is she here? The extent of my job. And I think the really interesting <laughs> choice here by Dig, I think yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. potentially <laughs> leaving this Drake to be started. Jensen wants to get this Turk gold up top lane and allows energy to start on the Drake. I wonder I if he's going to have time to TP in. Could just be a 4v4 potentially, but yeah. Jensen is backing off to look for a TP maybe. He's going to TP comes. now. Yeah, they want to stop it. It's matched by Dolo, I regret nothing. Ooh, nice ult by Vi. There's the combo. Clean. The Wait, Contratos one shot. On oh my god, they didn't have enough damage to kill Speaker. They didn't have Palafox the damage. Oh, the hell no. From getting in. Palafox gets taken out and blasted by the double marksman. Vitalia doesn't have the damage to one shot at Lilia. Oh, God. It's only going to get worse from here when she gets Zonia's. Yeah, they hard commit there on to speak. Has spent all their spells on the jungler, hoping to burst him down right off the bat, but he survives. And it buys so much space there for Jensen, for Sven to step forward, feeling totally confident to go into that fight. We can watch it one more time. They make the call to go for Spika here. He's off to the side, and they say, we can burst down the jungler and then take the fight, but committing everything to him <laughs> and not getting the kill was critical. And look at Licorice blocking the follow-up Ash Arrow there was massive with the Pathmaker. Beautiful bullet time there by Sven as well, arriving at the back of the fight. And then once the original dive doesn't get the kill, Dig completely having the upper hand in this one. Palafox knows that's a very crucial fight to lose. And with that, we have a huge milestone pass for one of our players in this game. Jensen passing Bjergsen for second. All passing time Bjergsen. In for career kills. Oh, Isles. A testament to his career. As Isles is now in trouble. Energy. Looks Someone like all chatted. I heard it. Someone all chatted. So Who was it? I heard an all chat. At least it wasn't Jensen dying <laughs> while we showed the lower <laughs> third. Show you know, the Jensen, old chat. Say what you want about how his, his performance this split, definitely not up to his standard, but he's absolutely one of the most legendary LCS mid laners of all time. Yeah. Uh, got second, I think rightfully so, behind Bjergsen when we did that voting for the top 10 all time for each position. Uh, he has been incredible for so long, even holding the global record for most world's appearances in a row. Made worlds eight straight times. Yeah, American Flex ridiculous. coming on tomorrow. I forgot uh, it. My bad. He made world semifinals. He made MSI finals. This guy is one of the best Western players of all time. And uh, congratulations to him for, I think, a pretty big achievement. An arrow from downtown instantly cleansed once again by Sven. I heard another old chat. FPI just, just wrote some. FBI sure just wrote something in old chat. Out out of position since second game it was a lot tougher he had to play against tempered fate and glacial prison and equalizer but this time around Sven mm -hmm. has been ensuring that he is in a safe position and he's not been compromised so far yeah he is down both summoners though so energy will probably look to target him a little bit more most a of this turning game, point series on draft at uh, Lilia, yeah maybe I appreciate you like the content man I appreciate you like the YouTube content a there's a very Let's big YouTube Palfox video coming out we buffered it very nicely there's a, we've got a very big through. YouTube video this coming out yeah, next week really well played there from it's basically a long video about why is Gen G so good TLDR um, a lot of efforts going into it Gets out of that seismic shove. Both ultis down. Licorice. It's gonna be like. Well. I think people kind of want to know why is Genji the best in the world. That top side, but he's so uh, it's got tools, some reasons no and some examples as to why. And the rest of Dignitas are gonna slowly rotate towards the top side of the map to offer it's even of further support and protection to see if they can control and prevent that top tier. One yeah, it's actually a 10-second video. Hey guys, Jensen welcome to my Genji breakdown with the song. Dun, du, 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 you ready? Let's go. It's gonna say because of Chobi, and it's gonna end. Energy has remained active. They were extremely active in game two and blowing out Dignitas. And even from a deficit here, looks like they're trying to start a lot of plays. So that's gonna be what Dig has to watch out for a little bit since they've accumulated this gold lead. Is just 
Guardian it's a Shaq S production, yeah, baby. That's right. They have the upper hand in the very even game against the Ash, and they do have. I know Dick really has a small lead, but NRG's mid game is really strong. They need to find the pick the though. The so like uh, the problem they have actually, unironically, NRG's uh, biggest problem. Do, and I think the key is, can they get to the those problem they have targets, is this. It's easy to say, oh, energy, you're choosing the wrong Secret target, arm got on Lilia. One minute on Drake. There's gonna be a big dragon fight. Dick will go on soul point. NRG need to take the fight. You know, you don't necessarily. And they need to. The way you catch someone off guard with stop. Watch uh, is when they're here and you're here and, and you're channeling Vile, you actually flash earlier. mid cast and you kill knock them up earlier. In a start of fight, you then you chain CC Retalia and they're dead. Uh, but it is very tough you catch them off guard while flashing and you're getting poked and prodded away during the Vile. What did I just do with my fist? And that small window where Sven did not have both summoner spells is now gone because mm. flash is back up. Cleanse will be coming back up in just a few seconds as well. But you know, there was a moment where energy probably could have gone for him. And the target priority just did not execute funnily for them on the top side of the map. And I mean, it's always tough when you're playing a tank and you're pretty far behind. I mean, Doko is down now nearly 2,000 gold individually in that matchup against Licorice. But you also have two carries on the other side who are actually quite fed. LDR is already done. Don't try and clap some Jensen. Are they going to use Tully ult for this? Uh, the second item here is done for Jensen as well. Flash on to Jensen. He still has flash. He's trying to get to his team. Oz will try to bail him out with a Magnus Storm, but the cease and desist will lock Jensen further down. And the side they got him, but at what cost? True. Big shutdown goes over to contract, Not bad. But Sven will look to equalize. It still has the bullet time, is waiting for the right I told angle, you, NRG, we're but fine. But are they fine the when Cassante right clicks them? Let's see it. Where's the MF ult? The MF ult could be big here. Uh, not the best, but Cassante is Cassante, so it's fine. He just won before them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's still going. If he stood on Poppy, that passive there. Oh my god, he triple killed them. You're not serious with this champ, man. Like, what is that? He just won the Ford and killed three of them. What? This is giving me flashbacks to the Golden Guardians. What? Turn around. Oh my god. Are you serious? Massive fight here over by the dragon. Energy full send it on to Jensen. They had to commit so much to actually taking him down, but they do finally get him. And then Doku is actually positioning pretty well to keep Sven from being able to just let that bullet time rip. We're back to live though. Oh, Jensen's, Jensen's caught again. again. No. Poppy? No, it's Talia. Nah, Baron's too hard here. I mean, Dig's Jensen super favorite to win this game, record. even if he gets caught there. <laughs> I mean, Cassante <laughs> is just too OP. Cassante is too OP this game. When you're playing Vi Talia, what you're doing is you're sacrificing <laughs> DPS for bursts, right? And that's Remember, good if you can get ahead and you keep bursting down their carries. Friday, we are gonna be on but Friday, if a tank like Cassante is ahead, you don't have the DPS Sunday, to kill him. So, so it's on Ash to kill Cassante. She's not going to kill Cassante. It's going to take her four better, items better. at least really before she can do anything. For the remaining uh, matches in playoffs as we get down to it. Uh, contracts wants to send it oh. on to speak at the blast cone punts him unfortunately back Sonya's? into who he so they get further cc set up he's gonna Oi, try to stop that arrow stasis. good bullet time and magnus yeah, it's over it's over they're outscaled totilia vi gets outscaled very quickly if you fall behind i mean ash can't even move cannot contribute any further into the fight it's still As fine i think it's still fine can he pull off uh, fbi miracle? can't play can get another cassante gaming moment here Ooh, maybe if they kill cassante catch him throw him back into the arms of contracts and they get the Beat down on him. Jensen is back from the oh first no. pick that we saw just 30 seconds Jensen ago. Gonna die again. And he's able to trade back <laughs> on a who he, but he's slain. Okay, into they got the some big kills actually. Wait, they were 5.5k down. Now they're 2.5k down. It. It's contract, Palafox, <laughs> and Dogla. That's not doable. They don't have damage. I, think I still think NRG, the I, they fight. need more than this. They need way more than this. The fact that they're this behind still. Just stay aggressive. They're going for picks every time. Jensen died three times in three minutes. He did. This fight very, very well. He made Sven's job so hard. So I really want you to try to focus on that in this replay. We're going to be watching Sven over on this side here. Oh, he this arrow really was crazy. Nice game, timing. I mean, Poppy would have taken him out anyway. Hit by the arrow at the same time. And then Dokla is just tanking up as long as he possibly can. Then kiting back. I still think it, I, I still think Dig is fine. Like, sh it's, and even it's, later in the fight when Sven wants to try to They're just getting Caught. Jensen needs to stop side. anything. You'll notice again that Dokla will come over here. Who he will come over here. They'll make sure that they're not actually. The only reason this, this happened was because Jensen died Dokla here, and they got so much top push that they can invade. Trying to poke and prod and keep Sven out of that, and that is really the problem here yeah, for Dig. Come on. Three on my yeah. two. Nice, nice, nice. 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 
I mean, with no Jensen, you're just so reliant on Sven's damage, right? Yep. So Dokla knew his job, uh, played it well, and uh, as a result, they do come up with that team. Objective fight. bounty is big. They're gonna be able to grab this Oof, if they saw Vi bot, this would have well. been a horror so on Baron. Energy closing the gap a little bit here, but it is also Dig on the precipice of grabbing an Infernal Soul. Dokla Are we caught in top now? Here, come though. on, guys. He's gonna stall as much time as he can, but yeah, he's Califox, dead. He's pinging bot here too. They have four grubs. Could danger. work. He's gonna try and I mean, Dig has to start Baron, right? No matter what, Talia's showing what. The turret, since the rest of Dignitas was on the top it's side crazy how objective bounties are up for energy, by the way, when they yeah. when we're spawning the earlier. Drakes. It's the Drakes, I mean, he yep. could get bot here too in TP in afterwards. Baron, to it's a bit greedy, but I like it. Dead for Can Contrax no steal it? Response, and there's no TP on Palafox either, so... Energy are just gonna have to... have TP up, what am I saying? Nah, I can't see it. Not the worst, the though. You know, they got Baron, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. No they got bot tier 1, they got bot tier 2, they got mid tier 1, and it was three objective bounty bounties. They got 1k bounty gold deficit. They were 2.5k so down the after the fight in, in, in the jungle. They're only 1.1k down after they got the objective bounties. Because they collected two yep. of them right away. So I think energy because the bounties were up the problem they're going to have is 50 seconds before soul I think it was actually completely soul point from they'll have mid and bot push no this anyway, is where it's going to get really hard you're going to have to find a way to face check Very into the drake in and what they can do on soul point is they can drop drake and just play for top and mid tier too if they want to with baron buff because you have to sack waves so nrg kind of needs to force something now but it looks like contracts wants to base for sterex not a good timing to base but he's going to have to it looks like and they're going to be trying to play for this soul close this one out and it's the it's the moment level 13 at game, level 16 i wish i didn't look different. at that all flashes are up on the side of dig and energy it's a lot about position but they're gonna throw down in this fight with these summoner spells up critically as well jensen now 16 and completes his three items so okay they go through both for the fight nice i mean talia wall here. can do work if they want to just engage with vi and try and make a pick they're going to spawn out Licorice on the bottom side of the map, knowing that... Cassante is quite split. In through the bottom lane. Cassante flanks Energy aren't that good, I think, when they're playing MF Lilia. Gaining control. And they're going to turn right onto Licorice, try to Guys, you're going to lose Dragon if you do this. Even they're just going to kill Dragon before you kill Cassante. Pummeled, and the rest of Dignitas are now trying to burn the Dragon before He's got to steal this contract or it's over. With the Weaver's wall. Contract is in the pit. Can he oh, the smite was terrible. It goes over to Spika. The rest of Energy now have to fight through the bullet time as he gets interrupted by who he's speaking now finds himself in the back line licorice all out on fbi brings him in an isolation it takes him down the rest of energy are forced to it's run dokla is going to try to hold his own against speaker, it was on one hp yeah it was after a spell the though the smite Palfox was first then it was the 200 down, then it was one and then lilia got it with q i think or her dot or her pet can they try to end the I think game he had right that there right contract now. just a, a fraction too early down to one hp and i don't even think speaker used his smite i think he got it with a tick of damage from the Andrews or the passive, but Dignitas do get the soul, do win the fight, and are marching on the base. I think they can hold this, maybe. Palafox and Contracts would have to pull off. Yeah, it's not over yet. I think I think Vi smited at one four fifty. It went to like two hundred, and then something hit it, and it went to one, and then Lilia ticked some damage. Was quite unlucky, but still. How much of a tilter is that though for Contracts? To literal one HP, that is insane. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen that in competitive. It wasn't smited to one HP though. I'm sure of that. So I slow mode this. He smote at about 1500 as he was comboing yeah, with 13, his spells. Yeah, 1353, OE 153. And he 27 to oh 1. My God. So I think the 27 to 1 to death was all Lilia dot damage. He got stunned by the rel, so he couldn't continue his combo. So the smite went through, but Isles actually crazy him up there. So the auto attack didn't go through oh, from man. contracts wow. to actually combo that down. That is actually insane and has to be incredibly frustrating for contracts because not only don't you get the steal, it is so much worse than that you give over the soul you lose the fight is it smoted or smited the chat game off of that tiny tiny difference i want to echo a phrase from jat said earlier in this game it's all a bit it's smote about and it's not smittens margins. it has been so close in so many of these fights and these skirmishes it's smitten before then the gold advantage was never that really it was smitten either side but he now, smitted the baron no. achieved Infernal what? Soul acquired. Are you fucking fried? I feel like this is now Dignitas' game to close out. Two of the stompiest opening games if you will it was ever smitten, see in a series. You were this absolute smitten. Banger. 31 kills in 30 minutes. No. Nope. With the soul point, Wait, though, what? Dig seems to have swung it completely in their what favor. What are you on about? What are you on about? 
What a game. And MF now on four full AD items. It's smote. All the BF items collected. I this smote, kind of you smote, they the smote it. Stones. If you channel this all. Four? Four on the pick, though. Oh, a pick. Clean pick. But there's nothing to get. That's the problem. There's no, there's nothing on the map. They're continuing to play on this vent. He still has flash and he has cleanse. And he flashes away from the seismic shove. Good is, patience uh, to wait until the end of the combo first. This is generous. Is sleep to Lilia, sleep to Lilia. The Talia, sorry. MF ult, MF ult, MF ult, MF ult. Oh, who is binding? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? No joke, what is happening? Is Poppy gonna kill MF? Nah, he can't, he can't, GG. Sven still survives despite Dokla bringing him to low HP and Dignitas. Oh, it's like bite. Oh yeah, Three, bite, two, bitten, two. smite, smitten. I mean, what a mess that whole sequence was. But you don't say I boat. The original pick on the aisles into Dignitas trying to play I boat you? a 2v4. No, you don't say that. So it's not smoke. It in the end because Sven, with his infinity stones of BF lifesteal, stays alive against Dokla. And Cassante Gaming takes FBI down in the back. Let's see what they can do with this push. Alphox, They'll do the fucking nothing with this push. So they'll get an inhibitor. That's it. I gotta go Baron on base. Base Baron. Like Energy's game is over just yet. Dignitas, we're going to have to look for another fight next. Yeah, and if you can't end it now, you always have that little nervous voice in the back of your head saying that, well, if they steal Elder, like Elder can be the great equalizer. Um, but Dokla, again, doing a great job marking Zven, stopping the ultimate immediately as it started. Because what I was talking smited. about is you get all of these AD items, the ulti fully channels. Can you say smited? I smited the wrong target. You can say that, it right? It is actually insane how much damage the MF ult can do late game. But it's very difficult to position properly to get yeah. it off. If you what do you mean, no? Back, take one step, they're out of I'm it. Done. Position it's smited. Forward, you're going to get interrupted. Uh, and Dokla is just staring it's at him every single I decided time, uh, waiting uh, to that's stop it. that. So done. if Zven it's can done. get that perfect ult, it's it can absolutely be game ending. But by the same token, if he mispositions, it gets stopped. He has no summoners. That could be really Deal. problems for them, too. Deal. I think they're still it's smited. Deal. favored. I will say their objective and it's dove. Deal. secures smited and dove. have been effective, Deal. if not, Deal. but not very reliable. Because even in the stomp of game one, Contracts had a total shot at stealing that Baron. This Infernal Soul I'm not going, going to theconjugator.com. That's not happening. Though, they at least get Contracts flash out, which makes the steal less likely on yeah. Baron. Makes it really hard if they go to Baron now. Because they also have flash on Isles. They have flash on Licorice. English so is so easy. The wall to English is so contract. easy. So now with no flash on him and him having to go Yo, heal Cajal, back to base, English is so easy. Started. How can you not get Hui this? He does have a potential long flank here, but... Oh my god, is, so is that Huhi or is that Sven? Halifax comes in with the Weaver's Wall and it gives them vision. Do they want to still play for this? Huhi right on top is Sven, but Palafox cannot find the combo. And now Huhi is just okay, absolutely they can destroyed. Balls. And then have to be. Palafox has the flash <laughs> and run or? away for his Wait, life. hold up. Licorice is solo nah, killing him. Cassante is just... Back, even with Dokla trying it's kind of winnable though. Off, but the rest of NRG are able to deal with the backline of Dignitas. Vin and Jensen got popped and now they can turn on to Licorice. Instead, it's kind of winnable though. Elders in 20 seconds. Oh my. <laughs> what? I mean, the what? Fight Guys, your base. Your base. Huh? Able to kill oh, they win that fight. With Palafox and I thought Sven was fine, but then he died. But then I thought Jensen Corky would carry with flash up, but he died. How did Corky chaos. die? It's skirmishes on either How did side. Corky die? It's all about who's going to succeed in these small multiple number fights. I have to apologize for circling the Cassante Gaming because the upset was happening on the other side of the fight. Licorice was taking on two, but then every carry can they get Din gets can they get the Elder? wiped out as the Elder will get started now by contracts. Jensen has I mean, NRG will take an Elder flip seconds. anytime. Sven is up now. Licorice will be up in 20 seconds, but I don't think they're gonna Spica give it. is yeah, they, going they, to They're not even going to try and flip it with Flash on Spica. Why? He recalled. They're just conceding it. He's not even going to try and see it. have this kind of small what? window during the Elder buff where energy are supremely powerful. You know, they will run the show. The question is, can they actually push how did, how in did and be Corky able die? to threaten these inhibitor towers? How did Corky die, inhibitors? Chad? Because while you are incredibly strong in a fight, it doesn't make your minions any tankier. And all Dignitas is going to want to do is delay, 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 clear out the waves, avoid any sort of potential conflict. And just try to no chat. He smited the elder. elder to fall off. He smited the elder chat, didn't he? Say it. This is such a close game now. Yeah. That Baron play was an absolute shocker. 
Yeah, they I mean, Mike just really found a great angle, and credit to him. You know, he, he bought so much time waiting in the tri brush, finds the angle. I didn't think they were actually going to be able to finish off Sven because the seismic shove didn't hit from Palafox. Drop the replay, drop the replay, to, yo. To Hello. Enough of those cues through yo. the members yo. over on yo. the yo. side to kill off Sven. Yo. Yo. And that really did change things. But Yo. now Sven can we drop the replay real quick? His summoners back. Begging is a lot safer. No. Nope. MF so reliant on those summoners. Look at the arrow. Watch out for no the ash arrow. You know, you just have high moves. Is speed. FBI That's gonna play in fog? Really no, no arrow yet. Move speed does not get you out of a flash. Ooh, also, only 30 seconds yeah. of Baron versus 120 of Elder. Dignitas, even though they've had such a decent advantage after the Baron play that we first saw, persistence has been so key to energy. As they throw out an arrow. It is tanked by Licorice. No further fight will Smote is the past tense, bro. Don't give me that bollocks. Rat that is the present tense. Ratted is the past. Ratting is the, the current. Shut up. Just spoken volumes of how much they are willing to throw against the wall. I mean, energy either have to just hard force a dive or accept that the elder is gone now because yeah. it's so easy. Even if desperation, you know, they gotta force calls, a fight. Zven can just alt a wave. Like they only gotta have send to defend it. this wave and one more. This wave is mostly already gone. So they are gonna be able to push up and get the tier two. Objective bounty. I don't think it has enough legs. <laughs> Get them to be able to what the hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see Doko's pushing up. Objective bounties, dexed it up. Angle Dragons there, are so OP. Again, only 30 seconds. Worst case, you ult it. Yeah, it still keeps him in the game, though. It's yet another bounty secured. Yep. They've pulled even in gold. 20 seconds left if Dignitas tried to defend a little bit too strongly. They might go here. The arrow is a field goal. Weaver's wall was already used by Palafox Elders to cut off in off 10. members, but all of them ended up on the safe side of the wall. Surely they're not going to lose with Infernal, so right? Of the Elder Dragon Surely. buff, and it doesn't look like they're going to continue the siege. The Surely not. Dead even, but because of yeah. the soul, they still have objective bounties. So yeah. they're la, actually la, getting la, so la, close la, as far la, as gold, of course. The la. soul is going to give you, it's around 4,000 gold worth of stats ballpark. You know, so it is quite powerful. They are still in a lead uh, in that way, but... You know, it's it's definitely not that clear cut of a game anymore. Okla is and cage rolling. While what is that? Is enormously ahead in top lane. It's a 5.6k gold lead to Palafox in mid lane, which is absolutely That's absurd. That's enormous. Like that is ridiculous. He has almost You're 100 CS. Up, leave after this CS game? Up, has a lot more nope. kills. Has taken a lot of tower gold. So he is ridiculously fed. He's on yeah. true six items. It has a potion. I got a 5.5k gold lead. So, you know, it's really going to come down to these super fed members. Who can get more done? Is it going to be about Palafox? Hey, or is it going to be you. Licorice you too, getting huh? into that back line? Palafox has actually earned 20,000 gold this game. So That's he has 1,200 gold that he can't even spend at the moment because he's collected a lot of bounties. So he has really, of any Bright Spot for energy, been the one. And Thank this you. could be a pick. Awa, 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 awa. Wait, hold up. Flash away, but it's too late. Now it's five and on Al four for the Alistar side of energy, But it doesn't look like they can find any further picks. Speaker also used his sleep, and it was just on Huhi. So now not only is your support dead with no flash, Spika lost his engage tool there as well. So Dignitas really has no way to start a fight. The Baron is going to be up here in 45. Isles will be alive, but no flash really does make it a one-way trip. It makes it much harder to reach the back line if he were to go for it. You also have to look at the map and we're seeing you know, very little deep vision from them. You know, really they have this one yeah, be over on this side. They've got nothing, you know, past the Baron. So if it is energy starting up a Baron, well, there's nowhere for Let's make a Licorice pick on Cassante, they said. Yeah, I did my combo. Wait, hold up. Wait, he's actually gonna die. Joke, he's Cassante, he's out. Just when you think he's killable, he's got a dash and a, and a W and an unstoppable and a damage reduction and a shield. that shows how fed he is, but that also also shows how disconnected Dignitas continue to be. That was almost another pick for energy when there are currently no objectives that are available when that happened. Now the Baron is up. They've chunked a few of energy down and they're going to start setting up this Baron. Yeah, there's the Baron. TP from Alphox. So everyone from here is going to be playing about the engage. And it's all about the execution in this situation. It's going to be a flip. Licorice is getting zoned off. Come on, Contrax, so many steel. They have full vision. You can't oh, he tried to flash knock Lydia. She's got banshees, my bro. And Contrax is in the Baron pit. Who is going to get the Baron? They stopped damage on it. They're trying to turn around for the fight. Dokla is getting zoned out. 2,000 HP. Contrax oh, is Contrax oh, trolled. Oh, he, he tried to bait steel, by queuing out and flashing in, but then he has no damage for the Baron steel, GG. I think energy loose. But Isles has traded back. The 
rest of energy now have to reposition around their new front the line. Up yet, though. We have to hold the line and guarantee oh my that God, Palfox Alistar is tanky. Escape, who he is going to give his life and when they have Elder in 30 seconds here. Might look for a pick, but oh my God, is too tanky. So what is the, where is the damage? Strong, and they're going to march into the base. Is Dick calling for the end? Again, Speaker doesn't even smite, but they got oh, anyway. flash new sleepy time. Into the sleep. Dokla is going to take a nap. And he might just get blown up by the onslaught of Jensen. The rockets pour in. All right, it should be GG now. They only have one next tower. Dignitas they only have one next tower. All their carries alive. Palafox and FBI, one last stand. Palafox, no flash available. It's the shutdown from Jensen in the bloodiest game of the series. Damn. With okay, that's more like it. That wasn't one sided. That was point. fucking psychotic. Wow. That looked for a while like it that was, was going to be the rest of this game. Then energy started getting bounty after bounty yeah. after bounty fight after fight after yo my cuz i actually don't want to go to bed but i got to because i gotta stream this in 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 eight hours uh, well, i'm not gonna get eight hours of sleep i need to sleep i'll sleep in like 10 20 minutes yo but this is the last time i have to wake up at 8 a.m for an lcs series so tomorrow series we're gonna do the whole thing sunday series and do the whole thing we we we, we gotta go uh, I, I i otherwise i'm gonna be dead i have to do t1 kt weibo top esports fanatic man and 100 thieves tl i got another fucking 15 hour stream tomorrow all right i'll be back tomorrow morning and i'll be here for lcs all day all day all day tomorrow i promise i promise thank you all for coming out i'll see you soon the big pace lcs streams are coming i promise Big kiss. I'll see you soon, chat, okay? Take care. Shout out to the lurkers, bitters, gifters, shadows, stubbers, donors, resubbers. I'll be back soon. Take care. Peace. I'll raid the LCS as well if you want to go check out the LCS. See you in a sec, chat. Much love. I appreciate you all for coming out. You're crazy as fuck.